All right, welcome back to another episode, guys. Today we have a very special guest, probably the only guy in all of pickleball that can take me from 3.5 at best <laughs> to 4.0. We have Jordan Brionis, the most legendary coach in all of pickleball. I don't know about that. That's a tall order to ask. I don't know. What do you think, Jordan? Uh, I'm very confident in my capabilities. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, finally. <laughs> Two hours later, you have a PSA announcement from Jordan Brionis. I'm now quitting as a coach <laughs> in maybe, pickleball. Maybe by the end of this podcast, he'll be like... No, I'm done. <laughs> but but the first thing I want to know, I was doing a little bit of uh, Googling. You've been in pickleball since like 2014-ish? Yes, about eight years, yeah. What did you do before that? Did you play tennis or anything? Yeah, so um, played tennis in college, not, in a, like, not for the team, but yep. I actually started tennis kind of late. Um, my wife actually played college tennis, so I, I got into tennis pretty pretty heavily and I love the game and uh, yeah so that, that was my background just playing I like recreationally and and some local tournaments and stuff did you play any other sports besides tennis or was that the primary one uh you know some basketball in high school but sure. but yeah those yeah that was probably primary yeah okay so starting if you you know started tennis kind of late were you coaching in that at all like how did you get to coaching pickleball yeah okay so in tennis um, I actually coached a little bit uh, for, for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had a friend that needed help and he was a coach and we did some summer oh. camps. <laughs> I thought he had, you had a friend who was a little kid. That oh. needed help. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I had a friend, an adult friend <laughs> who, who ran some kids summer camps and I kind of got in, you know, kind of teaching that way. Yep. I mean, I, I didn't even really see myself doing that like full time or anything. I just thought it was fun. Um, and I, I like that you know, fun with playing with kids and stuff. So, um, yeah. So, and then, uh, how I got into pickleball coach, you're talking about coaching, right? Yeah. 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 So basically I started playing and, um, saw it as an opportunity for me to make some extra money. Um, but honestly people started asking me, I think, you know, before I, I started coaching, like coaching Just yeah. like naturally. Yeah. Like, you know, cause I was, I was, more than a three five at best right away. <laughs> so like, you know, I mean, I, I probably, you know, I, I, I got up to a four level because of my background. Yeah. Four oh level probably pretty quickly. You're very humble. Jordan, you can ball. I The last time I was here last year, like you took me out to play and we played doubles together. And I mean, there were some strong, like any decently strong players, but I don't think we lost a match that night. And then I, I played you in singles and you wiped the floor with me. I was like, oh my gosh. This guy's the real deal. Like, how could he possibly be this good? All he does is dink back and forth to like old ladies all day. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I do do a lot of drilling, and yeah, I appreciate that. And yeah, I've I've worked on my game through the years. But uh, yeah, so I started coaching because there was a need for that. People started asking me, and honestly, we could go into the whole like online content space, but mm -hmm. it basically built from there. So I see. Did it feel natural? coaching right away or did you were you like i don't really know if i'm like should be coaching or if i know enough like how did that progression go yeah dude to be honest um i never taught anything or coached anything wow like in my life i don't think mm. um now i yeah not not that i could think of so um when i started doing it though i just i think i enjoyed it and i was just getting really good feedback like of uh, what I what I saw, yeah. um, like you know, oh, you're doing this, and I just so I'm, I may have just a, a natural ability to see things, correct them, and those kinds of things. And I just obviously I was fully in pickleball. I enjoyed the game, so it just happened, and then I I ran with it, and then I I kind of built on that. But it's yeah, the background like coaching and stuff, like uh, like a lot of other coaches, I didn't I didn't necessarily have. Uh, extensive background so so people just came and asked you like you weren't one of those guys giving unsolicited advice like on the courts or anything like that were you <laughs> no I, 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 <laughs> I thought I, he was gonna say yes <laughs> no no i actually uh i actually listened to to a little bit of of your pod on oh, that. that episode <laughs> yeah that episode um i mean if chris was playing i'd definitely give him a <laughs> But, you know, I mean, I just, I just know that he need it. You know? So like, but, so helpless. but honestly, I don't, uh, I just, 
I don't, unless people ask. I'm just, I'm not, I don't, yeah, I'm not really that person. Unless I'm like bringing somebody to the courts, you know, mm-hmm. and kind of showing them. So yeah. do, when you go out to play, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much rec play you do, if any at all right now, but if you do, do people recognize you? They come up to you? Do they ask you for advice or anything like that? Um, yes, that happens. Honestly, so like right now, um, as you guys know, and I, I told you, we, we made our move here to Arizona, my mm-hmm. family. From where? From, from the Bay Area. Okay. Um, and that was just last year. So I've been full-time pickleball for just over a year. And it's, it's honestly been great. You know, I, I quit my nine to five job and we went full in and it was a, it was a big thing for us. So, mm-hmm. but, uh, now currently, um, I, I coach a lot. Obviously the YouTube stuff, um, takes a lot of time Yeah, and, and all the stuff that, you know, we're kind of gearing up to do. So, um, yeah, so right now for for my like improvement, I just I don't have time cuz I we have three kids and I don't have time to be traveling. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I'm not really playing pro tournaments right now because of our family and uh, maybe when they get older or whatever, but just the coaching thing is is most important right now. So I just have high level players come to to my court here in the backyard mm-hmm. and we I mean, I lo- like I am a drill like machine like yes no but i'm just i like to drill okay like i'll do that over playing right now just because my time if it was different if i was playing tournaments all the time maybe i'd drill a little bit less but my drill to rack play ratio is probably like 70 80 percent drill oh wow Mm. just because of my time yeah um and then of course if i could get four like high level players or three to come over then i'll have them who are the highest level players that usually get to come over to play uh okay not to name drop here no. on, we need to, <laughs> no, I, no. I, I needed to hear it <laughs> as soon as you asked that i was like that's a dicey question well, yeah yes. no no um i mean Who local people cut? in arizona and you guys know some of the names i mean so kaden mm-hmm. kaden nemoff he's a really good player yeah, he's playing um, at the orchard tonight i believe at the orchard tonight um again those some of those people kyle yep. mm-hmm. kazoda is it kazoda kazuda kazuda i think yeah yep. okay that pickleball guy um that yeah that pickleball guy and so him, he's around. Um, I think we'll probably start drilling more. Uh, Pesa. Oh man. Um, Pesa. He's he's not around all the time. But there's honestly, I can name like five others, and they're not playing ex- like tournament exclusively right now. But you haven't heard of them. But they're super good. Riley comes. Uh, I've drilled with him multiple times here. Um, he's he's super busy. Yeah. But if you're talking about the highest level, it, yeah, it'd probably be Riley. Was it? hard for you at all to make that jump into full-time pickleball like was it was there anything that scared you about doing that uh yeah dude it was it was one of the hardest decisions that we've made yeah didn't you have uh, you had a baby on the way when you decided to make that decision or or no we well yeah we had three (laughs) a three okay i know you had three but i didn't know where in that timeline it was yeah so um the whole pickleball thing um when i started making videos that actually started five or six years ago um, and then I'm working at UPS full time mm-hmm. as a truck driver, mm-hmm. oh, wow. um, working 60 hours a week. So like 55 to 60 hours a week, like for years. Yeah. So my family life and everything, like honestly, it was tough. I didn't see the kids that often. I worked nights. I worked 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., you know, that kind of thing. Yep. So it was tough. Um, but the whole entire there's a lot of things that fell into place. Uh, for us and for our family to come here. But uh, a big one, uh, along with me starting a career, doing something I love, but also um, s- just having more family time because that, that's really important to us. So it was huge. It was a big risk. There's a lot of people that supported us, and there's a lot of people that said, ah, are you sure? I mean, honestly, a very good paying job with pension, mm-hmm. with benefits. I'm talking about like- Yeah, UPS is heard of good. <laughs> yeah, like a place that people would die to have. And yeah. I was very fortunate, but um, I just saw the opportunity. It was a big risk, so, but we, it worked out, yeah. So when you were doing the prime time stuff, so I've, you know, I have a, I've been doing YouTube for probably 10 or so years and I dove into full-time pickleball maybe in the last seven, or so months, like obviously you guys were doing very well yeah. on that channel and I like maybe have a ballpark of how it was doing then obviously you guys had a course and stuff. What was the, I guess what made it scary? Were you not sure if there would be enough money, if things would dry up? Like kind of what was the, the holdup? Yeah, so <clears throat> kind of about that. 
you know, during the transition of us moving, mm -hmm. we, uh, we were starting a new business. Yeah. So that's when I actually left prime time yeah. and then I had to rebrand yep. yep. and, and re like kind of restart in yeah. a way. Yeah. We, so we had some resources, yep. right? We had a little bit of money saved up, but that honestly went into everything we do. Yeah. Like that went into our court, yeah. which yep. costs like yeah. 30 grand. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They're not you cheap. Know? They're not and cheap. Then, and then the studio. So, but as we've, you know, built up stuff, we, we've, you know, we've really fully invested everything that we had yeah. into our business which was a, another scary thing. Honestly, just talk about betting on yourself. Yeah. Real. Um, I knew the following that I did have and I, I knew YouTube well enough, mm -hmm. um, to, to, to be, have, be confident in like starting a new venture a new channel, a new yeah. venture and, and building it up. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone really well so far. And, uh, yeah. What would you say is the, if you're comfortable saying is the not how much you're making but just what where does most of it come from is it youtube yeah. is it coaching like what's the what's the split the percentage split yeah so is it changing right now yeah so right now um it's going to be sponsorships and coaching is probably 50 50. okay mm. uh so they're pretty they're pretty close um and let's see how i see that changing in the future probably um now coaching is kind of like on court right now. Yeah. yeah. As I come out with digital products and things like that, that for, for our business model and what we have planned, that's probably going to be 70, 80% yeah. mm. of what we do. Yep. But the Selkirk, obviously, um, super great sponsor. We're excited to have them on board yeah. and, and, um, yeah, so so that's that would probably be around roughly. So is a lot of which is spent do you spend more time on right now? Like coaching in person or making the content? Yeah, so up until two months ago, uh coaching was like everything. Honestly, it's so hard to do. I, I know you guys do are in the space. Yeah. So for me, I was coach, I was producer, mm -hmm. editor. Yep. <laughs> so one video a week is all I can get out. Yeah like totally. full capacity. Yeah, and yeah. you have a family. Like I struggle getting yeah. one video out a week and I don't have nearly as many responsibilities yeah. as you have. So yeah, this is like, the time where you guys need to hustle, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. But, but honestly, um, it's it's tough because it's a lot of work. And as you guys know, like the video, the work that you guys put in your videos, people don't really understand how much it takes. But we're finally at a point, like the only way that we can scale is to hire people. Yeah. So we've, you know, we have someone um, helping us with social media um, and then getting a getting an editor, something that we're working on right now. But kind of currently, I'm still I'm still editing the bulk of our, our of our videos. How long does one take you to make from shooting it? Well, you could even talk about pre-production. I guess just what's your whole process for making a video? Yeah, so uh, that's something that I can. Uh, there's so many things that I want to improve on and scale. Um, but, uh, even that the videos come out, I think very, very well done, but even my pre-planning and stuff, sometimes, sometimes it's, uh, I, I think my pre-planning could be a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but, uh, I, I get out there with some ideas. I, I write bullet points. I go shoot. Um, it takes a lot of different takes. Then, you know, I, I come back and then. You know, I try to shoot two to three videos at a time. Yeah. Sometimes we get there, sometimes we don't. Um, and and then I, I get in the editing room, you know, in here when I can, I would say between, it's it's so it's such a wide range between yeah. four to eight hours of editing. Four to eight, yeah. you said? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's hard. I don't think people really understand. It, it looks so easy, right? Like the final yeah. product is just like, oh yeah, you made a video teaching this or you made a pattern yeah. review or whatever. But the behind the scenes stuff, especially depending on how much pre-producing you're doing, the actual filming, then once you get to editing and realize you said a million things wrong, it's sometimes you have to go reshoot something. Yeah. And then, you know, if you want to go even a step further for YouTube, you're trying to make a, a compelling thumbnail. What's a compelling title? You're constantly changing. Like, it's, yeah. a, it's a lot. You got to think about yeah. what people want to see, want to hear, and yeah. what would do well with your audience and what could grow your audience. Because, you know, you wouldn't make a tutorial video on something that nobody 
either cares about or something that you think everybody knows or wouldn't click on because then that's a waste of your time, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that's why, like, I give you props because I don't think anybody's seen, like, I obviously I visited you a couple of times. And so you see the amount of work this guy puts in, <laughs> yeah. like, and how fast he gets through it. It's honestly, like, it's, it's mind boggling to me, it, especially to me. I'm like, oh my God, this guy's a maniac. That's yeah. cause, it's because what I said earlier, you got to do it now before you have a family. <laughs> yeah. because I think about, I actually do think about this a lot because uh -huh. sometimes right now I feel like, oh, there's not enough time in a day and I know I'm not always using yeah. my time very well and then I mm -hmm. think of people who have families like I have a wife but I don't have kids mm -hmm. so I'm like dude if I had kids <laughs> I just like I wouldn't get it I don't think I'd get anything done so I'm like you have to figure it out now yeah. mm -hmm. before yeah. that comes so, yeah for sure yeah I it's, it would be very challenging to figure that out are there parts of making the videos you don't like um I don't I don't think I don't like it, mm -hmm. but the editing part just takes too long. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I need to outsource that. Yeah. What so, I imagine if you did outsource the editing, you could probably, your volume could probably yeah. be so much higher. And, and honestly for me, um, I don't know if you guys edit all your own videos right now. Right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's for me and some of like, again, power reviews and things like that. I think honestly that can be more easily cut up than mine mm -hmm. yeah because yep. mine is so technical yeah we got slow-mo so it's so hard to find somebody to to cast a vision that i need right i think that's so, where the the getting better at the pre-production the planning the yeah. script writing gets in because the more detailed that can be the yeah. easier it is for an editor to kind of like pick and choose then you can just say hey this shot put this in and i i think i mean also it'd be great if you found an a good editor that also played a new pickleball, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's actually my kind of like my requirements. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I see. So um, yeah. So we're working uh, with a few now, um, and th they're great. They're great, but still, uh, yeah, still work needs to be done. So until it gets to a point, then I can really, <laughs> we can really uh, set some time for yeah. ourselves. Yeah. How how do you figure out what you're gonna make videos about? Because what I think is so funny or I guess interesting about teaching related content, not specifically pickleball, but just mm -hmm. lots of different things is, you know, let's, we'll just say three, five as a great example. Yeah. You know, there's probably five, maybe 10 like core things that it's like, if you just do these things, yeah. you're gonna go up. Obviously you're making videos all the time on all sorts of different topics. At some point you have to be trying to think of new ways to essentially say the same thing because it's like serves, right? Like yeah. it's mostly gonna be the same advice. Yeah. How do you, I guess, work with that? Like I've seen, you know, you've done multiple videos on serves and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you make it feel fresh or what's the idea with those? Um, that's a good question. Haven't uh, thought about that recently, but I would say this, um, there's so many people coming into the game yeah. and players get stuck at the same level because yeah. they don't change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So refreshments here and there, and also, and I'll take different angles, add different things, but honestly, communication is, is what makes a good coach, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I, I try to see it in the basic form first mm -hmm. and then try to get, you know, build on that and get more advanced. So yeah, you can, you can see, you know, multiple serve videos. Obviously if someone watches one and it helps them, they may not, you know, they're probably not going to watch a serve video in a while until they probably want to improve something. So I just, and then again, I see um, just content creation wise, I followed some big tennis channels mm, when, yeah. I, when which, I was. Which ones are you following right now? Uh, Essential Tennis. Of course. They're honestly some, yeah, one of, uh, I like one, of the, one of the guys, again, just as in, in a whole, as a whole, his business and industry, some, someone uh, that we're kind of looking at. Yeah. Um, and there's a couple others, but let's just take essential tennis. He's been making videos for over a decade, over, over a decade. Yeah. And it's a grind and I've talked to him. Yeah. Uh, he's a really, he's a really cool guy. So, um, and he's playing pickleball now. Is he? Hey, yeah. Let's I'm go. Playing, yeah. Recreationally. So, okay. yeah. but, um, wait till we see essential pickleball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know about that, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, he's been making it for a long time. There's just new players coming into the game constantly and i honestly think that you're servicing them they i'm yeah i mean what what do they need and and again i teach you know I, i've taught this past year i've taught hundreds of players literally yeah. and like 
you know, it's a lot of the same stuff, but people, you know, people need it and that's what, that's what they want. You know? I do imagine too, you probably throughout, you know, the years you've been doing this, you probably find different ways or maybe better ways than you previously explained it. I mean, you're coaching yeah. so many people. I imagine you kind of just see, oh, you know what? I used to say it this way, but when I say it this way, 50 more people get it this much faster. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I am, uh, I mean, I would like to be, and I, I practice to be a, a constant learner. Mm -hmm. So like even other coaching, other coaches, like if, if something I hear, um, you know, that, that, that resonates with me, like, oh, like, oh, that's a good tip. And then I'll kind of put in the memory bank. But honestly, I think I learned the most when I when I'm actually out on the court coaching, mm, yeah, I believe so, you're improving your own game is what you're saying. Is that what you uh, mean? No, no, imp improving, improving my communication. I yeah. see. So like certain players, it's the same thing. I can I can tell somebody, hey, go, you know, hit the dink like this, yeah. right? And then they one one person will do exactly what I'm saying. The other person will do something else. Yeah. But then I like as a good coach, I, I change my verbiage. Mm -hmm. I, I change maybe a different angle, and then they get it. So like, honestly, I think that's where a lot of good ideas come from, coaching a variety of levels yep. and a variety of players. And then I learn how to- Adapt your how communication to, how, how style. To adapt my communication. And I, okay. think that's, I think that's why I've been successful. Awesome. Yeah. What, what are the core things that you think uh, make a good coach? Obviously you said communication, but like what are some of the other things? Like, so ju just so the audience knows like what yeah. they should be looking for when they're looking for a coach. Because I think, yeah. you know, picking a coach is just as important as you deciding to go to a coach to improve your game. Yeah. So, um, communication would be the best. I mean, the most, like one of the most evident things. Like the so, style of communication. Yeah. So that they can, that you're, you're getting what they're putting down. Like you understand. Um, obviously you have to be technically like a sound coach, like technique and those kinds of things. And I think a, a coach with a, uh, I don't know, one of one of the we're in the current process too of like possibly hiring some coaches or having some coaches under us too. And one of the things, uh, I guess, one of my philosophies is like there's no like set in stone way to teach something yeah. or to learn something. So when we first came into the game, another re and these kinds of things just make easy content for us. Like when people like just the the blanket statements that you've we've all learned growing up, like yeah, right. not growing up, but <laughs> le learned in the game, like always drop the third shot, yeah. and uh, you know never, you know never do this, yeah, never, never do lob, that. always hit in the middle, yeah, always, yeah. So yeah, yeah, foreign takes the middle, you know yeah. those kinds of things. So um, those kind of things just make it, you know, when there's something that's wrong and incorrect, we can we can you correct know, it correct yeah. it and we can actually have Coach a conversation it. and coach it so. right and adapt to it because yeah. those those things those techniques and what's right now is wrong like before can easily change as the game is changing and evolving yeah yeah what do you think makes obviously some people are better at coaching than others is there anything you see in coaches that you're like i wish people would not coaches would stop doing this well again i think what makes a lot of good coaches cringes when <laughs> okay we'll just start with wrong information sure <laughs> okay sure yeah <laughs> right yeah like i don't know like hold your paddle like yeah above your head yeah yeah like something <laughs> like, just yeah you know so so Very there's wrong. that yeah obviously but um and i and maybe just like just even your presence like when you're sure. when you're working with people sure i mean a big thing honestly and people tell me this all the time i get i get, com I get comments and it's actually really crazy because when I moved here and started coaching, yeah. like, like what, what am I getting? I'm getting so many clients like, oh, I've watched your videos for like five plus years. Like it's, it's crazy to, to hear that, but yeah. you know, that's, that's what happens when I go and teach. Yeah. But anyways, they, you know, people tell me like, oh, you're just, I don't know. You're, you're just easy to listen to yeah. and you're, sure. you're just um, relatable for yes. whatever, whatever that's worth, you yeah. know? And I don't know, I think that's a really good one. Um, I think different people like different personalities. Yes. So like someone like Tyson, which who I think is a, is a really good coach as well. But you know, he's like more like out yeah. there. Yeah, alpha, animated. Aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, some people really like that. And some people may like, I don't know, s something else, so. Yeah, do you ever have, obviously don't have to name names, but like see coaches and you're just like, oh, 
Jeez, like <laughs> I just I can't do this. Wait, you're asking him for like a tier list of yeah. the coaches no, no, out no. there. No, no, no. He doesn't have to say the coaches, yeah, yeah. but like, uh, but you how know, you often want does it. that happen? Yeah, of course. Um, it happens, but again, the again, it comes back to just when I hear something that's I know that is is totally against Incorrect. what I teach. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's just again, it, it is what it is. But like, yeah. that's that that's the main thing. I mean, um, I, I hear. I hear things from from clients and stuff all the time that are pretty hilarious. Like, yeah, yeah well, my my coach back wherever told me to do this, and that's when I'm like, oh man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It told me this the bowling serve is the way to do it. You know, like, <laughs> the bowling. You know, bowling yeah. Serve. So like, you know, and we've you know we've kind of hit like a lot of the these uh, you know these kind of topics, but yeah, that's that's kind of you know yeah it makes sense. About. Have you ever experienced any? I guess burnout from doing so much of this. Yeah, uh, I've been doing it a year mm -hmm. now, um, and I'm actually transitioning to less privates and yeah. more like I'm doing like these two day intensives now. Yep. Okay. Um, so like clinics and groups more. Is that what you're doing, or um, they might they may leave a link below in the description. But, uh, <laughs> we, but, will. we will. We But uh, no, it's so what I'm kind of gearing up to. To do and just for my time and for the best quality coaching yeah now this is not really to pitch it on no on no, no no please, please. Okay. yeah but, but this is what i've again here it, it's a pitch kind of but yeah. this let me tell you why um so there's camps yep there's clinics yep. yes getaways yep. yes thousands of places to go yep. spend lots of money um pickleball players a lot of them have expendable money yeah. yep um and i as a good coach and as I want people to improve. I want to be the best coach possible. So yeah. when they come, when they come, they improve. Yeah. Right. So that's that's my my key, and that's what I want to do. Chris is right there signing up right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll give you a discount. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Yeah. yeah couple go. Cu couple dollars off. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say it was gonna cost more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um. So so what I'm doing now, what I created is um where. And again, my time is, is very valuable to yeah. me. So player, so people are, are flying from wherever they are, yep. coming here. It's a group of four, okay. so four to one ratio. Yep. And, I, and it's two days full of training, yep. but it's intensive and it's, it's like fully immersive. So yeah. it, it's like we, we train two sessions a day. Yep. We have a little boat ride strategy. Like we go out on the boat, we have dinner. So it's like, An it's experience. more, it's experience and also, and then along with that, Again, uh, what I mentioned about camps, clinics, some of those can be really good, mm -hmm. but I've seen lots of players spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars going to some of those things, yeah. and they come back and they're the same player. Yeah, and yeah. they and, and it's hard. Okay, biggest thing, it's hard to retain. Yes, anything. Yes. Um. So you can get two or three tips, mm -hmm. and and it could help your game. Yep. But honestly, with what we've created, and see. I don't know if this is giving the opportunity for other people to copy, but it's it's the first. It probably is, but it's okay. It's the first thing I think in in our industry that that I've created. But so, experience like that, and then with bonuses after that. So I do follow up Zoom calls. Nice. I make action plans. Nice. Um, I I you know the some of uh, the stuff on our YouTube the uh, the slow mo stuff. Yeah. I record games. I break down games there so there's there's multiple things in that yeah. which i th think fills in the gaps yeah. for for coaching right. because again i'm i'm looking at technique strategy decision making a whole bunch of things and um i lay that out and it goes beyond actual the actual intensive so i follow up and we we have communication i see so you're focused on that. like yeah retention high retention of the yeah. skills that they've learned which yeah. is great i think that's incredible and that you're offering that and i don't think you really have to worry too much like if people potentially copying you because when they can't copy is you and you're a yeah. trusted yeah. you know coach in the space and i think just have you or your name like that's probably irreplaceable do you film these currently which ones Th these like sessions like when these camps essentially uh no good good question um not current not the whole thing sure no, i film parts of it for the the um you know the intensive yeah intensive people yeah um as like a follow-up or as a follow-up because i i do a lot of things and i show them things you know we, we do slow-mo breakdowns and things like that yep. but um 
I that's that some of that's in the works okay, of of actually again another piece of content <laughs> advice. But as you see in Central Tennis does yep. does really well. A lot of his privates, a lot of his things mm -hmm. that he's happening, he turns it into content. Yes. So that is on the table. Gotcha. Yeah. So I was it's just strange. gonna say if you and go ahead. There's so I'm not gonna say much, but yeah. there's gonna be content coming out. Yeah. Uh, with kind of those kinds of things. It has it's it, good. so has this product, it's, it sounds like it's already launched. You're already yeah, doing launched, it. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. When did it launch? Uh, probably a month ago. Okay. And uh, you know, we're, we're throwing it out on, on YouTube, on our email list, things like that. Um, gotcha. But we have got a good amount booked and honestly our goal is to, to book as many as we can. I wanna help as many players as we can and, also, so, and also supports obviously what we do and, and supports our family. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, true. of course. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, I just lost the question that I was gonna ask, but how, okay, what, first of all, what levels are you teaching? Is this intensive for, Okay. yeah, you know? Okay, so another thing, you go to camps and clinics, yeah. You go to three, five at best clinic. <laughs> I, I was going to say, which, please, which, I'll give you full. I'll let you name it that. Yeah. It'd be hilarious. Which, which probably Chris goes to. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, you show up at, at a certain level. Yeah. Yep. And then you go mm -hmm. and then you end up with someone way better than you or, or sucky. Yes. And the rallies again, a lot of the stuff, obviously you're going to do is drill base yeah. games. Then a whole bunch. I mean, we do a lot of stuff, um, but for efficiency and effectiveness, that's not the best way. Cause you could come out, somebody could have a good experience in that camp. Yes. Someone could have a terrible experience. Someone could be super negative. Yep. So this takes a lot of time, yep. honestly, a lot of time for us to do, but it's the best experience. And that's why once you, you'll see our reviews and everything that we're, we're, we're building, yeah. um, they're, they're all super great and positive. We do background screening and we get everyone's footage before and uh, we, we match people up and you don't know how long that takes. No, no, I, I can imagine but, no, for sure. But, um, but that's it, awesome. This is the best I'm, I'm telling you, like the, the, what we've created, I just think is, is the best, like, cause I want this, I want the student, I want who's coming. I want them to level up so that we yeah. they can tell their friends or they can tell whatever. Yep. But so that's what we do. We may make sure everyone sends videos in. I can start analyzing their game before. Yes. Yeah. Already marking things down and yep. I'm, I'm plan how I'm going to teach. Yep. And everyone's in the same level. I I think I that, that is amazing. I'm su almost, well, I'm not surprised it hasn't been done, honestly, just because the amount of the uh, level of work yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll tell you why this hasn't been done. Because most pros, okay, not most pros. There's pros in it for the money. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Certain Absolutely. Ones, of yeah. course. And they don't have time to do this. Yep. yep There's no sure. way. And honestly, you have huge, to be, you have to be passionate about this. Yeah, I have the passion for it. And, and honestly, like huge camps, if I'm teaching a camp maybe for 32 people, yeah, maybe I can make more money. But yeah. I you want I, impact? I don't. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, you know, I, I don't want to just teach people. We should sign then, up for one and then get that'd a, be sick. No, we yeah. should sign up for one and just like vlog it and tell our experience to try it. Like I think that would actually be cool. Yeah, dude. I, I, I already see this video. Now this would be that would be a really good video. Okay, we'll talk about more of this okay. later. We'll talk about more of we'll talk later. More. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I better be put in the same group as well. <laughs> Don't separate yeah. me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it ranges from two point five like and to, to up to four. I mean so far we've booked some four or four point five. Yep. Um, so that, okay. that's the range. Do you find that there's a a level that becomes? I mean, obviously as it gets higher and higher, it's harder to coach than you know three zero. You have so many things. What is kind of the level where you're like, it's harder for me to give you things to work on, or mm -hmm. maybe it doesn't make sense. Like at five, oh, I'm sure you still have great things to say. Yeah. But how? Do, what would the coaching look like for someone at that level? No, I have I have five oh clients. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, now obviously, probably ten percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Much smaller. Or four or five and above. Yep. Yep. But um, I I honestly, dude, I I study the game. Yeah. I honestly study the game and I I watch. I watch and and again as a good coach I think that's made you know that's something that made me who I am and how can I yeah so three fives all that we, we deal with that all the time yep. that's super easy for me yep. and I can I can I mean I can change players quickly and assess quick yeah. um, four five to five oh it's less technique and more strategy yeah mm, sure <laughs> right like so they have the shots they have the shots and yet yes we add shots yeah. um, there's 
Um, there's so many things and we, it's a whole nother thing, but even I've added in my game and, and how the evolution of pickleball has mm -hmm. become, but I add, uh, yeah. So I, we, we talk a lot of strategy, um, just a lot of tactical things more with higher level players yeah. mm -hmm. and that, cause again, the skills are, are there. So like, even like I had, I had Connor, like Garnett this this morning. Yes, and amazing player. He always comes up in conversations. Yeah, yes. and then uh, Christian Alshon. Alshon? Oh, right. Yeah. So like, I, I don't know if he has time on his trip, but we'll probably have him on the podcast. But anyways, like people like that, they have all the skills to play, mm -hmm. but why does, you know, it takes them a while. So we're talking about doubles here yeah. to really get really good. And that's one of the things I was talking about, Connor, about, yeah. about it, ta it takes a while just tactically and just, knowing when to pull the trigger there's there's a right. whole bunch so so higher level more strategy tactical lower level strategy tactical as well but it's there's a lot of mechanics, mechanics. A lot of, uh, yeah it's, it's a lot of mechanics but you know there's strategy for sure yeah interesting all right first of all i'll be very upset if you get christian before us because he was supposed to come on our pod but then he got sick <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Like on this trip? On this trip? Yeah. Right after he won MLP? So, something about, I think it might have just been his voice was shot or something. Yeah. But on Monday, it was like, yeah, like I'm just not feeling great. And I was like, oh, bummer. I was like, we'll get yeah. you next time. It's fine. But. And then secondly, we we did get a chance to play some rug play with you the other night. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. By me, the way, I had, I did not have tennis shoes on. I don't know if you noticed that. No, I did notice. Okay. <laughs> I was not going full out. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, we, I know you weren't going full out, but still, um, uh, and obviously you were playing with, uh, you know, the weaker player. No, no diss to, to, to Caitlin Pickleball chick or whatever. Oh, at Mesa. That's the first time I met her and she's, she's great. She's, no, she's yeah. great. No, oh, we, we love, love her. We yeah. love Caitlin, but it was you and Caitlin versus yeah. me and Shay and, Considering you didn't, you just picked up like a paddle you never played with, didn't have tennis shoes no, on. Say it was it was a soccer paddle. Yes, it was a soccer paddle. Yes. <laughs> I saw it. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you almost wiped the floor. I was like, oh my gosh, Jordan is about to crush us. But I did pick up like I think two things. Okay. Uh, from playing, what'd you pick up with you? Well, first of all, like I hover around that four five to potentially like five zero level. But I would I, I would tell most people like I'm like a four five okay. player and. Uh, and I feel like what it is is that my my floor is and the gap between when I play my worst and my best is still fairly high. It, it ranges between four or five. Okay, so your range, know, my range, yeah. right? But hmm. uh, what I've noticed is when it, it's the when, it's not what you do. It's yeah. I think it's more important of when you do it or when you decide to do that. And there's someone that, that you didn't execute as well, but I'm like, oh my gosh, that was the perfect time to execute said shot. And sometimes you would get us. And then also there's one thing that I think you do really well that I, when we went back, I don't know if you saw this, but I pulled out my paddle, it was super late. What? I, I was like, dude, Jordan is really good at keeping his elbow like locked in closer to his body. Like when you're dinking okay. or when you speed up or whatnot. Uh -huh. So I can't really tell if you're gonna go like outside, like uh -huh. like inside out or like in, or if you're gonna speed it up or if you're just gonna do a ding because yeah. the tell a lot of the times, I mean, if somebody's like, you know, bring their elbow back or whatever, I can tell you're like doing a wind up for something, yeah, yeah, yeah. but because it's here and it's more compact, you also defend really well with it as well. And I'm like, I actually can't freaking read this guy. And it's okay. well, quite <laughs> annoying. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, and as, as a higher level, like higher level players that come to me, yeah. you know, those are things we work on. Disguise, right. mm -hmm. deception, um, and spots attacking spots, spots. yeah very spots make a lot of sense what are the spots that you tip like so i think now i'm discovering that before at least you know because i come from tennis too i'm always looking to hit spots in the court but i feel like you pick spots like for height above the net and spots on people's bodies yeah so or like yeah. people's feet yeah so uh so what i was actually referring to is yes yeah, spots on the court obviously when they're back there's a whole bunch of different variables but i'm talking about when they're up in the net mm -hmm. you're attacking right, exactly so one of the things that we've seen in the game i might talk about how the game has changed because i study it all the time but um there's there's so much attacking going on right now yeah mm -hmm. and you will get left behind like the 5-0 today yeah it's not the 5-0 three years ago yeah yeah the four or five today was not the pro today whatever yep um there's multiple aspects of the game that has increasingly improved, but one of them is attacking, as we know. So getting better at being aggressive. I'm talking. So those are the spots I was talking about. Okay. And that I coach at a you know higher level players to to go for s location over over power and a whole bunch of other things. So what are the locations that you would? Yeah. So with? we have several videos on this. Um. And there's, um. Again, I'm an open book. I'm still learning, but 
again, if at, let's say you're a three five four zero right now, mm -hmm. yeah. or any actually level, okay. okay, you want to be able to attack, uh, learn, start learning how to attack off the bounce, and out of the air, obviously. But you just need to stay away from the torso. Stay, stay, stay away. Stay away from the torso. Okay. And mm. the chest here. I mean, it's simple, and you, you guys know this. You guys play at a pretty high level, so we're trying to, we're trying to make him stretch or reach. But obviously, like you know, we talk about chicken wing and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, but again, I'm trying to put them. So I call it the wings, like mm -hmm. outside here, like to my left, like two feet away or three feet away from my left hip, two, two or three feet away from my right hip. Okay. Um, and different spots there at higher level. So again, there's like multiple layers, but yeah, I mm -hmm. think from uh, 3-0 uh, to 4-0, you could kind of attack anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4-0 mm -hmm. to 5-0, you, those are the spots you need to start going for. Obviously high shoulders, right? We got stuff yep. like that. And then 5-5 five, five, five plus, Yeah. I think there's, it actually comes again, because everyone's going for those spots. Yeah. Uh, um, so. This it, is this is a wrap around. Game. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is not a this is not uh a, this is just something I figured out. Yeah. So Riley, okay, I'm gonna shout this out, Riley Newman. Thanks for coming a couple <laughs> weeks ago to drill with me. Hey. Um but I obviously slaughtered me. Um <laughs> it's just again, I think I think if I was playing Riley doubles, it's way easier but like when you're playing skinny singles with him, yeah, I have to hit every ball yeah. to yeah. him. So yeah. it's like He's rolling everything. He's taking everything out of there, and his hands are better than mine. Yeah, clearly. Um, so, uh, what I learned about him, and you, and you kind of just learn different things. Like, and and he, this is no no news, but um, you obviously want to stay away from his pancake. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't really have. I mean, he covers this well. He covers this well. The the only, if you can call it vulnerable place, is throat. Sure, sure. <laughs> no, but so I figured that out. I, I, I got some free points, that, hey. but again, you have to learn how to, again, and that doesn't, so every, every level is different, but mm -hmm. again, like usually, cause I, and I figured out cause it's, it's the two handed thing. Yep. Yeah. It's up here. But like, you know, I just, so I studied the game and I, I just watched, you know, the best of the best play and see how they adapt to certain things. But yeah, I mean, if you're at any level, just stay away from the body and really learn how and learn that location is the most important thing than power. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. Okay, yeah. so I, I get it now. So you said from 3-0 to like 4-0, you can pretty much attack anywhere. If you have it was a good speed up, you had a good like uh, window, right? Mm -hmm. You can kind of go for it. 4-0 to 4-5, it's the spot like three, like, you know, a couple feet from the wings, yeah. as you would call it, the chicken wing, the shoulders, that spot. And then you're saying at 5-0 plus, really good 5-0 plus because yeah. those guys are so good. They're ready for the wings and the, the shoulders or yeah. whatnot. Yeah. They kind of defend those well. So then it's like, it goes back around. Well, it's to like it's a back. mix. It's okay. a mix. Obviously, again, pro level, they, they're attacking wings all the time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I can make so many content and so many videos on this, but it's really attacking there. And then it's just mixing it up, making it unpredictable. Let's yeah. See. How, yeah. What ha are the biggest things you've seen? Because you've been in pickleball for so long. What are the biggest changes you've seen over the years and if it's possible to group them like you know 14 to 16 or something what has the evolution looked like what do you mean 14 to 16 uh like 2014 to 2016 like if it, if it's easier to group it in oh, section of years um, rather than year to year yeah i don't so years we'll, we'll put that aside sure sure but, that's fine but great question um so i'll start with yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff that's changed have you and i'm sure you guys watched have you guys watched some like 2014 championships? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can watch that and then answer the question. Yeah. But um, again, as I've coached and developed too, as the game has gone, mm -hmm. I've gone with it. My, some of my coaching tactics and, and some of the things. Okay. So a um, couple of things. Serve. We'll just start there. Yep. Right. Obviously we went through the chainsaw spin, <laughs> yep. spin serve dilemma there. But obviously we're back to to regular serving and stuff like that. Yep. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, more aggressively, I yep. told you I st I study high level play. Yep. So you look at Ben serve. Yep. It's not the same serve that he hit two years ago. Yeah. yeah. He is hitting that thing. Yeah. He's gotten he's gotten a way way more topspin, way more depth. Yeah. Yes. I think it's the depth, honestly. Yeah. The depth. I mean, some height too. 
I feel a little like. bit high. I yeah, it, it depends. I think he, yeah, it, it kind of depends. But he, I mean, he's hitting that thing like three feet from the baseline. Yeah, like pretty consistently. Yeah. Um, returns. I think that obviously huge thing. Um, speed ups. What we talked about hands attacking earlier. Yeah. You know, not waiting for a ball that you can take out of the air. Players are attacking off the bounce, right? Um, defense. Literally. Literally, defense has skyrocketed. Yeah. Okay. You look at the Newmans. You look at everyone. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that I've changed over the years is adding another hand. Now teaching double-handed resets, yeah. two-handed mm-hmm. backhands. Um, I've incorporated that now into my game. After I played with you last year, I was like, okay, this is this. The two-hand has to be in this. Yeah. So and again, I kind of you know, five years ago, I I didn't even have a two-hander. Right. Yeah. I had a 200 tennis, but again, it was just really weird. But as you see, players start to use it. Oh, it's really comfortable. It, it gets there. Um, yeah. And then strategy, strategy wise, I think there's a lot of tactical like strategy things yep. that has changed. I mean, you look at mixed doubles. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of movement. Mm-hmm. W- women are earning. Yep. Um, <laughs> the lobs. Just, yeah. The lobs. I feel like there's yeah. more lobs. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot, man. Do you think paddle technology has influenced some of those changes as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, an- anyone can tell you that, you know, with the, with the top spin. Yeah. Um, I just feel like you can tack from so much lower than... Yeah. I mean, yeah. even in just the time I've been in here, faces were, like, so much smoother now. It's, like, yeah. ridiculously it would, right. You know what would be a good video? What's that? Um, if we... I haven't played with, like, a really old paddle lately mm. oh we that should, would we be should fun. we should try to play with those wooden ones yes. oh my gosh and i'm no, so and for see it. and see i don't yeah because then like i'll shots if you can still yeah. do it so but yeah obviously technology like yeah. is huge yeah and and i just think obviously so technology talent mm-hmm. and then more yeah the game practicing on the game the meta i don't remember evolving. which tournament it was but it, i believe it was a bigger tournament might have been around the 2013 ish era it was a gold medal match and i was watching it and I seriously, it was it was supposed to be pro, I believe. And I yeah. swear, watching it, I was like, this almost doesn't even look like four or five yeah. today. Yeah, you said you said twenty thirteen around there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it was just like even the dinks. <laughs> you were like, I could like, beat these yeah. guys. I, it's kind of what it felt like. Seriously, like the ball would be fairly high up, and they just like Dude, hit and, the weirdest dink. I, I know everyone, not everyone, but there's a lot of people think that that could relate, right? If if I were just coming the game in 2013, yeah, 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 I could have yeah. just, yeah. I could have just, I could have won everything, cleaned it, right? Yeah. Clean sweep, but uh, I don't know, dude. It's just so crazy how I guess at that time, right? There's age, there's like a lot of older people. Mm-hmm. The talent just wasn't there. I think, man, now it's just, it's just skyrocketed for yeah. sure. Yeah. So one thing I want to go over, we'll go with these one by one. Okay. I would love to know. I want to go through all of the the skill ranges like 3 up okay. or whatever, if you had to give each of those a tip, like mm-hmm. you give three top tips that they should work on at that level, yeah. what would each of it be? So we'll start with 3 Yeah. Yeah. Um, so real quick, and you guys know this, but 3-0 to 3-5 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is pretty close. Yeah. 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 3-5, 4-0. Mm-hmm. Every half level you go up, it, 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 it separates. Yeah. Yes. A little bit. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, so that, that's my philosophy. I think that's how it is. Yep. Very marginal, um, things. And then, so, so I wouldn't, so three Oh three five, I'd probably tell them the same thing. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, you can group them. That's fine. Um, there's just so many things. So, yeah. so you're saying, you're saying <laughs> what just, are the, the most, yeah, the biggest key thing if, if you had to, if you had to pick, I know yeah. that we know that there's so many things and everybody's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, what are just like, I don't know, the most key advices that you can give them that would probably help improve their game yeah so okay number one footwork okay mm. okay uh f- I, I i encapsulate together footwork and spacing okay. okay so how can you contact the ball in the same spot every single time mm-hmm. obviously contact point right good coaches we'll talk about it yep um we need to move our feet up back whatever take a volley out because really it's only it really comes down to three you either take a as a volley mm-hmm. right or you or you let it bounce and you yep. can 
you can dink in and just keep your feet there, or you gotta you gotta take a step back, back off the line. Let it yeah. fall with the yeah, arc but ball. Either fall. way, when when good players are adjusting their feet, yeah, that's what they're adjusting for. Yeah, mm -hmm. for space. Yeah, uh, and contact. Um, so that, and then I would say, I mean, I mean, there's there's a million things, but I, I would also just say just keeping it simple, your strokes. Mm, yeah. Um, swinging too hard, you know. Yeah. It's wit, wrist flex, but. Swinging from the shoulder, I guess. Yeah. Just just keeping the shots a lot more simple. Yeah. And again, just a, the intensive I just did. Um, there's this, you know, everyone has everyone has their their yeah. different things to work on. That's why it's really cool. They send me things in the beginning. We work through things. But um, yeah, one guy. I mean, they're just so natural. I mean, every time he dinks, it's just like oh, flick with his wrist. Yeah, but he wrist. can't. He cannot like. It's just such a habit, so yeah. we gotta we gotta work through that. We gotta break it. So, um, yeah. So keeping things simple. simple. Uh, it's funny because from the shoulder. That's like one of the first things that uh, you know, James, James Moore. Yeah. 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 Dude. Yeah. Yeah. So I when yeah. I moved to Tulsa, I actually took a lesson from him. I, I tried yeah. to find like the best I could find, and I took lessons with him because I was still improving at the time. And mm -hmm. I think that was one of the first things he taught me that still stick with me yeah. is lifts and pushes. He's like, all right, well, if the ball's coming at your feet. Right. Obviously you're spacing, but sometimes you don't have time to space. You're playing against somebody really well. Yeah. And right? you're not playing well. He's like, okay, if it comes fast, hard at your feet, get low, lift. Okay. Yeah. If the ball's out in front of you, you have to reach out for it, think push. And so now if I'm not playing well, cause sometimes, because I have a tennis like stroke background, but if I'm not striking really well. Yeah. I think of one of those two things and then the game kind of like calms me down and the game goes better and I start performing better. So it's like one of the, like my pillars I go back to as I'm playing. Yeah. 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 Very simple. How about four, oh, four, five? Oh, okay. Um, so four, oh, four, four, five. Ah, I guess it's not as hard as I thought. Um, <laughs> <laughs> improve your resets, reset mm. game. So transition game. Okay. okay. Four, oh, four, five. Got to have a transition game. And um, do you teach anybody? Like, what do you what, what do you teach them? Like, when they're thinking resets, because I think resets are fairly hard or scary for most people who don't do it very often, especially at the four, oh, four, four, oh, four, five. You know, somebody's yeah. like smacking overhead at you. And you're yeah. like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm just lucky to get a paddle on it. Is yeah, there like well, something they should be thinking yeah. about? Well, well, to me, that's not a reset. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. If if someone has a shoulder high or, or higher ball, that's I mean, now we're we're digging. Okay, we're digging. Sure. I mean, okay. it's, right. Or a right. reset to me, kind of is like maybe chest to chest to knees. Right. Let's I'm see. talking about transit. So just in general, yeah. transition game. Okay. So what is what's involved in the transition game? It has to be resets. Fifth, fifths, and sevenths. Right. Okay. Yep. Um. So. So honestly, yeah, just one thing that huh. oh, reset. Okay, really? Well, that's Sounds good. That's really five. easy for okay. them. Yeah. Hey, we're in, now you need what you I need mean, to work on. And Both I get, work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the three, yeah. three, five range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. And, and again though, the, uh, yeah. So obviously at a four, oh, four, five, yes. Dinks. Like there are several other things, but yeah. if I had to pick one, okay. it would be, it would be, right. it'd be transition, transition game. game. All right. Four, five to five. Oh, what would you say? Offense and defense. Offense and mm. So what I mean by that though, mm -hmm. is the attacks we just talked about. Okay. Getting faster hands, better attacks, and working on your defense. So now I'm talking about, I'm talking now this includes resetting, but it includes digging. It includes, it includes just learning how to dig out balls. Mm. So, because if you look at, okay, you look at Matt. So I'll say, I'll say the Johns, look at Riley. The top players in the world, right? Even on the women's side, doesn't matter. Annalee, yeah. they're good at offense and they're great at defense. Yeah. So they keep, I mean, so those are the two. Do you think defense has changed at all in the last few years, like how people approach it at all? Or has it mostly been well, similar? Uh, well, players have gotten 10 times better. Sure, yeah. sure. So, but again, um, te teaching wise, yeah, so it has it has I guess it has changed a lot, right? So players are getting a lot more balls back mm -hmm. because they've gotten smarter. So they get really low, yep. wide base, yep. two-handed blocks. I mean, one-handed, two-handed blocks, whatever you want to call it, but yeah, players have gotten again, and defense is such an essential um skill once you move past 4 or 5. Mm -hmm. sure. Because you got you got to get balls out cuz what are you getting at that level? You're getting a lot of attacks. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to learn how to you need to learn how to block and, and dig. Yeah. 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 Do you find that people I feel like this is just something I've noticed in my game in probably the last 
I don't know, however many months, but I feel like a lot of times and watching the pros, like I love watching Colin Johns because his yep. little thing, the net, he just, a ball just gets blasted at him. Boop, boop. Yep. Just holds his paddle there. Mm -hmm. Nothing like he was just waiting for it. Like he knew. Part of that is because of that, that uh, model E, but. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's, it's true. That That's is a, true. I mean, it is, it is a soft paddle, paddle and yeah. that definitely helps a lot, but yeah. it's just amazing to me how little they will do. And I found when I'm doing it, sometimes yep. I'm just freaking out a little too much or I swing when I don't really need to. And you just yeah. hold it there and bop the ball back. Yeah. Well, that's the hardest thing. Right. And I, I teach, you know, even at a three oh three five. Uh, it's funny because that's honestly. OK, so like one of the I should make a list of this, but one of the number one things players come and take a lesson. Mm -hmm. I need to learn how to slow the ball down. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. what they say. Yeah. And honestly, just a little uh, fact, uh, a little fact here. Okay. Um, players are they come and say that at, intending to they need to slow that ball it down but i think it's actually the wrong reason mm -hmm. so what i say by that by or what i mean by that is they're trying to because they can't be the bangers yeah, yeah. right yep. so one of the things that uh i i go into and i teach everyone okay you want to slow the ball, the ball down i ask why why do you want to slow it down well because the bangers they're they're banging they're banging at me and i need to slow it down yeah. um uh, ma the majority of the time, if they're banging from the back and you're out, you're up. I don't want you resetting that ball. Yeah. <laughs> you need to learn how to counterattack. Sure. So I, I go over both. I explain why we need resets. They they come and again strategy and a whole bunch of things how I teach things, but we need resets uh, in in that kind of scenario in certain reset scenarios. But there's times where you need to learn how to counter. Yeah. Um, so anyways, um, just come coming back to the. Uh, the resets, uh, yeah, so so resets are important. You should walk him through your framework. When we were talking about the ratings. Oh, the ratings? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, curious, yeah. I'm just curious, curious what, what he, he thinks. thinks. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear that, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, this is, because people ask me this all the time, and okay. uh, like, what is the difference between, you know, 3 4 5 and all that, and you could, okay. you could list a myriad yeah. of different skills, yes. right? And yeah. it's different for everybody, but yeah. I just told them, was, okay, for me, it was, uh, I think, what, what, I can't even remember. Is it 3.5 below or is it 4.0 below? It was like 3.0 up it was through like, 4.5. Okay. It was all the way through. Okay, so it was like 3.0 to uh, 4.0. I said whoever makes the most mistakes loses, right? 3.0 to 4.0. Yeah, whoever makes the most mistakes loses. Maybe it's 3.0 to 3.5. Yeah. I can't quite yeah, remember. Yeah, I'd, I'd prob I mean, I'd probably, I mean, the statements are, are tough, but exactly. yeah, yes. I would go 3.0 to 3.5. Okay, 3.0 to 3.5. All yeah. right, and then... Three five to let's say yeah let's say three five to four zero because now 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 talking with you and like my framework changed all right so let's say three five oh, to change this framework change this framework <laughs> well, I'm talking to a master here honestly all right so three five to uh we'll say four zero three, okay. three five to four zero okay. whoever capitalizes on the most mistakes wins I think that well is that I'll wait oh wait okay hold wait. on hold Was on it? so yeah. whoever capitalizes on the most mistakes yeah is is it, no that that's why I said is that what you five. So wait, what's the difference? So explain so it, what's it, the difference so it, between that and and whoever makes the most mistakes? Huh? Because like if you because sometimes you can make you can make a lot of mistakes, but if you can't capitalize on it, like you can't put the ball away or whatnot, or yeah. that was a mistake, then like you know you're stuck in that game and you don't like you don't win. Maybe the translation here yeah. is, I think three out three five. He's saying you win points because of your opponent's mistakes. Okay. Yes. He's saying, and then as it Got goes it. up, he's Got saying. It. The mis you're capitalizing on the mistake on the that mistakes someone of makes your, and finishing it, right? God. And then at the okay. and then at the higher levels, like let's say four, five, maybe even five zero plus, is whoever I feel like whoever can create those opportunities are yeah. the ones that win. Yeah. Okay. I mean, generally, yeah, sounds good. Okay. I go. mean, whoever can create yeah opportunities, I would add like just attacking or finishing opportunities. Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Like, offensive. Yeah. Offensive. Setting right. yourself up, basically. Yes. Yeah, because people aren't just giving you free balls at that point. Right, exactly. They're so good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you if no one's making mistakes, right, somebody has to initiate something. And whoever initiates, whoever can create those opportunities yeah. um, are the ones that are going to come out on top. And obviously, you know, <laughs> the pros are really good at doing that. But all, they're also so good at, like, defending as yeah. well. Yep. It's really hard. Yeah. Do you think there is any current pickleball advice that is, like given very commonly okay. that you wholeheartedly disagree with or think should stop being taught well, or accepted? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot, but you know, it's more like on a baseline. Like case I, by I, case basis? Yeah, I mean, I wish you would have gave me some examples, but you know, 
like, like I kind of said, like, I, obviously I have a lot of examples because a lot of clients are yeah, 3 are 0 different. to 4 yep. but I don't know, always drop your third shot. Yep. Um, you know, I, I need to learn how to res like you need to learn how to reset as a three O player. Yeah. And I, I honestly, I think they, they do eventually, but yes. I honestly don't think they, they need, they need to learn how to counter and volley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, they need to learn how to volley. Well, I also just think, <laughs> yeah, you know, how to volley. M my wife gave me maybe one of the <laughs> best statements that, so she's a, around a three, five and we went and you guys played. play together. <laughs> <laughs> or what <laughs> we, we did play together one tournament once one time never again <laughs> yeah, oh never again gosh. no just kidding but she we went to this tournament that we played together yeah. uh one time and you know i was warming up her dinks or whatever and then after we finished she was like you know i don't really know why we did that because there was no dinking she was like all people did is just hit the ball hard and yeah. when we go play with yep. you know some of our other friends like group she's in i'll just show up for fun she's like everyone just tries to hit the ball hard. So I don't really feel like you ever get to dink. So it yeah. doesn't feel like it helps me right now. Well, yeah, yeah, of it's, course. I, that, that's, that's very common. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I just yeah. feel like I, I agree with the, the countering yeah. because I feel like you're not getting to dink very much. Now you're going to have to learn it eventually, yeah. but it's yeah. hard to learn when no one does it. Yeah. The meta at each stage changes yeah. drastically. Yeah. You know? And then you'll never get them again, super simple strategy, but like, you'll never get that level to dink if you don't learn how to counter. Yeah. 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 Like if you don't stop a banger, then they're going to keep banging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of my, <laughs> what do you tell people are telling you you're playing pickleball the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I will never understand. I'm like, dude, if it's working, keep doing it, I guess. I yeah. don't know. Like if they can't <laughs> figure it out, why wouldn't you keep doing it? But yeah, I don't know. People are all over the place. But anyways, I, I do want to ask you, so you talked earlier a little bit about like you're not playing pro right now. Mm -hmm. If money was like money was just taken care of, you take that yeah. off the plate. Pro, would you rather play pro or coach? Or both? I would probably do both. You Still would do both. both? Yeah. Okay. I would do both because I I like I like competing. Yeah. And um. And you're good at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've I've competed at the highest level for mm -hmm. for a while, and you know, obviously the levels heavily increased. Mm -hmm. Um. You still you and, think you can hang? Yeah, and he, well, here's what I would say. Yeah. Um, I am pretty realistic with my expectations and what I what I offer or what I can do. Yeah. Um, if I go out there and pro, can I win a couple of rounds? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, against top players, you, nowadays where players are their training regimens and yeah. and what you know, I can't compete top ten players unless I'm training, yeah. like full time. But do I think if I did, yeah, I have confidence in myself that I can I can hang in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, if I if I can do it, I would. Again, families like change a lot, you know. Yeah. Um, the, literally, this is what it would look like if I just wanted to do that and travel. I, I would have to bring my family everywhere I go. Yeah, and that's a lot. So that's yeah. you know that's what it would look like. Will you compete at the Desert Ridge coming up? At all? Uh, no, I just, just, yeah, there's just so much going on with the business. Sure, even so, local ones yeah, are Yeah, so we just launched that uh, two-day intensive that yeah. I just talked about. So, mm -hmm. and again, um, this is, yeah, kind of shifting. So last year I played those two tournaments. I played APP and PPA um, just to get back into it. Um, yeah. But again, just looking at like our goals as a family and stuff like, like we need to, we need to focus on the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That makes a lot of sense. Well, I think for the most part, I've got everything I want. I have maybe one last question, but I want to see if there was anything either of you guys That's wanted it? to chat about. Come on, guys. You guys got more. <laughs> There's Let's, always more. I feel like we could go forever. We're, we're going for the longest Pickleball Studio podcast right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Me and Will did a two and a half hour episode oh, on paddles. Okay. So, I mean. Oh, okay. No, no. With a guest. With Oh, with a guest. Well, we did just what? Uh, we recorded one with Kyle it? and it was over two hours. Oh, okay. Yes. So, Kyle who? Kazuda. Uh, Kazuda. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just while we were here, we tried to grab okay. A, okay. a ton of podcast gotcha. episodes. Gotcha. And I know that if you go longer than him, he will come back and say, I want to be the longest. He wanted yeah. to be the longest podcast, period. Oh, yeah. I think wow. I was like, Kyle, okay, okay. <laughs> we're not going to be able to go to the party. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. could. We could. Yeah. But No, no, no. Yeah, I'm seeing it right now. Yeah, we don't have to break the record today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I love this. I'd totally yeah. keep going more, but do want to be conscious of everyone's time. I want to know what in pickleball brings you the most joy like when are you the happiest 
Yeah, teaching, making mm-hmm. videos, competing. Um, here's here's the thing. It's like, again, I've never. It's just cool to look back. Things have just happened so fast. Yeah. Right. I mean, eight years ago, I started. I'm sure with with you guys. However mm-hmm. long you started, it's like, oh, I didn't know I've been playing that long. Yeah. You know, um, things you know have changed dramatically. Um, I think that. I never even saw myself coaching full time. Mm. That was that wasn't. I told you, I, yeah. I didn't. I don't have that background. I was working at UPS. Yeah. I was doing the vit. That time of my life was so crazy yeah. when I was working UPS, yeah. doing videos. It was very tough yeah. to balance. Yeah. Um, and uh, it it was just hard. So like, I didn't even see. I didn't even see the. Uh, I was so tired and working all the time i didn't and family i didn't really see like the end i didn't get to appreciate Uh, really a lot that much the growth and like what we did yeah you know and now that life is a little you know we can sit down and we have have more time with family i can see and appreciate um just how many people like have i've helped yeah um so that's just i mean when when players come up to me um, and I, you know, I'm at a tournament or whatever. Sometimes I get stopped in random places and they say, Hey, you just, you know, I've been watching you for a long time. You just really helped my game. Like, I mean, it's, it's become like, I hear that kind of often. Yeah. So, but when I, when I hear that it's, I mean, that's, that's, that's gotta be like the number one. Yeah. I feel, and same thing for me with content creation. Like, you know, people will come up at tournaments and say like, I really appreciate your content. A lot of it's been the podcast lately. We get a lot yeah. of, you know, people just. <laughs> love listening to it and I feel it's sometimes I think you don't when you're in the thick of it yeah you don't realize like how, maybe well, how, how valuable it, it, yeah. it can be or how much it's grown mm-hmm. like or how popular it is or you are I remember when you know people stopped Chris over here hey can we get a photo with you <laughs> like, I was like oh man here here's a pen you need an autograph too hey Chris <laughs> <laughs> it is it is really weird especially in the, the the small amount of time and i just yeah yeah i don't know i think it's and with you being in here so long i can't even imagine eight years from now who, who knows what yeah this will look like i mean it could just be in a completely different place but right. i think everyone i have talked to that has started some kind of business in pickleball it has like altered their life very drastically yeah. like for both of us yes yeah huge changes i was in a weird spot where i was in between yeah. like big hobbies and like, yeah. you know, that my job with filmmaking that I was doing, it was just really burnt out and got into pickleball, like instant reignite. I was like on the verge of quitting video and now I'm like, now you're, I wouldn't you're even back consider it. it. Like it's, yeah. it's crazy. And I, I would imagine you wouldn't want to go back to UPS at this yeah, point. No, for sure not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just love seeing how it kind of has changed. Yeah, for see the progression for everybody. Well, yeah, well, I don't want to end the pod right now. This is a collapse. So, I mean, Jordan, we've been asking you a lot of questions. I there mean, you did you have anything that you want to talk or ask us? I know you didn't really come with notes to prepare, but there must be some questions burning your mind, like why Chris is stuck at 3.5. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, until you uh, maybe met, you know what? I would, until you, have you meddled in, a, in this tournament <laughs> that, that's 4.0 plus? Uh, have you won gold? Let me think. Not in doubles. I have oh, one four oh singles. Okay. So until you do that, you're probably three five at best. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, look. But here's the thing, I won I've won three five gold. So okay. I had to, I had to go up, you yeah. know. Okay. And now we'll see maybe But you know what? To shut all the haters up, get that gold in a higher division. And, and then <laughs> I don't and think then, that'll be enough. <laughs> and then and then post it. And then uh and then, uh, yeah, they'll say, uh, oh, uh, maybe you played in a really small tournament. No, that's exactly, <laughs> what, that's exactly what they're going to say. <laughs> yeah, you need to go. Okay, you do, we, okay look, th- this is this is a series you should do. Yeah. 4 Nationals gold. The road to 4 Nationals gold. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so there I'm, you go. I have actually considered this several times because when I was doing speed cubing, yeah. I had made a video that was like my, my road to world record. And then, like, I did some other small okay. series. By the way, guys. I'm a... I'm a three five at best speed cuber. Can you cube? Yeah. You saw <laughs> three five at best. I didn't know that. <laughs> so How I got, fast can you do it? Uh, I'm at like average like 40, 45, 40? 40, 45. All right, yeah, that's probably about that's, three that's five about for, three five, for right? speed cubing. <laughs> that's a, How long have you been able to do it? I mean, I started when I was like, you know, young. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so you, yeah. you've been able to do it forever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Yeah. You bring yeah. a cube. You, yeah. I told you. I will trade this. I'll trade him speed cubing lessons, and he yeah. gives me pickleball lessons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I do need to get a medal. I was joking with Will. I was like, you know. I haven't got one in 4.0, and now I'm going up to 4.5, and that feels oh, really weird. Yeah, well, feels that's really weird. <laughs> well, it's gonna be is it, uh, t- four five is tough. Four yeah. five is tough because there's there's some five O's in there. Exactly. Honestly, and it does get really weird though. Going between because I'm like right in the middle right now. I, I would you I would say I'm around like four three or four two five. Got it. Yeah. So it's weird when you're in that range because you're like I I can beat four O's pretty consistently, and I can hang with four fives. Maybe I'm not beating them. So then it feels wrong to go to a tournament and potentially beat up on four O's. I don't yeah. know. It's just a weird. Yeah. Well, you're in the in between. Yeah. Yeah. So I know I figured I'd just throw my hands in the ring and if I get my butt kicked, I'll go right back down to four O. And if I lose there again, maybe I'll go back to <laughs> three five. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, so yeah. Asking about questions. I guess I, I have one. Okay. Um, you guys do Pickleball Studio mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, he does Pickleball Studio. We do the Pickleball Studio we do the podcast, podcast together. together. Yeah. Oh, podcast. Just the sorry, podcast sorry, for the sorry, most sorry. part. Yeah. yeah. Podcast together. You got Pickleball Will going on. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you asked me the question, mm-hmm. what is your uh, project or trajectory or what is your, how are you guys, how are you guys making money right now? Yeah. yeah. Mine right now is affiliates. YouTube. Affiliates for sure. So what's, what's, what's first? Probably affiliates. Definitely affiliates. As of very recently, yep. I kind of figured out how to do that a little better. I realized right. not necessarily in terms of like, oh, I need to advertise it more, but I just realized the way I had it set up was was not very good. And I've taken my website a lot more seriously. So the videos, yeah. they crush it. Yeah. But I'm learning that you get significant amounts of traffic if you're yep. doing it. And there's not a ton of that right now. Mm-hmm. Maybe one or two guys. So affiliates for sure, YouTube. I would like to start doing more brand deals. We actually landed uh, a pretty big one for the podcast recently. That'll probably be maybe one or two episodes. And then I'd like to start doing more of those. And I think that will probably- So, oh, just for two episodes? Yeah. It's actually just for one. Yeah. But oh. I could see talking, I, wow. what I want to set up in the future is like, yeah. A, a, you know, a yeah. series of them, but this yep. company specifically was like, nope, we just want one. And I was like, okay, okay. that's fine. Uh, was, amongst a couple other things, yeah, not yeah, just I got the you, podcast. But. It was pretty good. When when they came and approached us, I was like, whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll tell you a little bit about after yeah, this, yeah. but yeah. yeah, so that- Off camera, off camera. Yeah, off <laughs> camera, of course. So affiliate sales, definitely. Then YouTube revenue. And then occasionally, you know, like I've done some stuff with Selkirk occasionally, like that we did a, a video content trip. Yeah. Yes. But that was more just kind of like as a video production, yeah, production team. Not yeah. particularly for Pickleball Studio or Pickleball Will. Yeah, that was yeah. more of like, they hired Christopher Olsen and Will Chang yeah. as the videographers. Sorry, Pickleball Will. We Pickleball don't say Will. Okay, yeah. <laughs> People don't even know what my last name is sometimes. Your last name's not I, Will. You know what? I didn't, that's why I didn't know. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's why it was okay. funny. Should have kept it as a mystery. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but I have, at this point, I am scaling back essentially all my standard Video. I'm not going to do any more freelance video production while I'm doing oh, pickleball. Okay. So you still, you actually still were then? Yeah, I was up until. Oh. I mean, I'd say okay. the last like three months, I've started having to tell old repeat clients like, I'm sorry, I like I'm not doing that anymore because balancing both yep. is just too much. And pickleball, I'm cool. just all in on pickleball. Full time, baby. Yeah. yeah, I just <clears throat> got to jump off the deep end. Yeah. So for me, I, I kind of committed myself to doing pickleball full time okay. this year in like 2023 last year it was kind of just more of more or less like a hobby i was semi taking it seriously but i was more or less just doing for fun i was just following my passion for pickleball yeah um and before that i was doing a lot of still like real estate photography and just like okay. regular portraiture mm. um work and even that was kind of dying down uh, mm. just freelance work yeah and then after meeting chris and seeing the success he's had he's kind of essentially paved the way for me kind of like he showed me the blueprint of what is possible and what can be accomplished and how to do it so yeah. this year i'm kind of basically doing that double down like on that and i i'm starting to do paddle reviews right now too because i've seen like the success he's had with affiliate sales and that's not i do like doing them but it's not necessarily the thing that i want to be doing like for ever Forever. I, yeah. I would say but i think going that route yeah will uh, enable me to do some other interesting, you know, videos that I think kind of excite me. I, I, I yeah. really want to yeah, do yeah. like a series of, um, I mean, hopefully nobody else goes out there and does this before me, but I think it'd be pretty tough to do, but like kind of like a series of how good is insert city or blank at pickleball. I want to travel around yeah, and yeah. showcase the community, showcase different cool yeah. course, even if it's someone's backyard, 
yeah. you know, and then yeah. I wonder if we know anyone with a cool backyard uh, <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. and it, right? It's in the, in the top, top five, top 10. That's gotta top, be. That's, that's, that's right. Sick. Exactly. And then make it almost like destination style, right? You know, I want to go to yeah. different countries and see how yeah. pickleball is growing over there and I, just I, spreading I, the mission and the joy okay. of pickleball. I dig it. Yeah. That's no, I dig really it. Good. Hey, Chris is, uh, the, uh, so he said, yeah, paddle reviews and stuff like not he he'll do them. Yeah, but yeah. like so is that like you're just nerd out on it? Is that like your passion or you, or hundred percent? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, like no, <laughs> like I, I so love you it. like you actually like let me take this paddle apart. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, like, like let me play with this. If thing. You, let so, me break this paddle over my knee. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Shay, this whole trip, he's okay. been so funny. He, okay. Him and I will just literally we'll talk about it. wake up. I'll be in the living room at like seven in the morning, like working mm. on my laptop. Will comes out of his bedroom, like you know, rubbing his eyes, and I'm like, "Will, I gotta tell you about this paddle real quick." <laughs> like at this, oh my it's like yeah. literally, it's like okay. immediate and goes throughout the whole day. It's like <laughs> I absolutely love it because when I was doing speed cubing, I also did review speed cubes, so I was very familiar with like okay. how to review equipment. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. And when I got into pickleball, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, got gotcha. you. I just saw there was a lack of it, specifically. I wanted paddles. Like I was trying to pick one and I was like, no one Same. is really conveying to me what this paddle does or what makes it better. So I, I wanted to be a little bit more objective and a big thing that pickleball lacks right now is up for reviews is transparency. And I guess just honesty, essentially, there are a lot of people who get a paddle for free and all, they're going to praise it to the moon. If you send me a paddle, you yeah, better I'll believe it if it's you. bad, mm. you are going to hear about it's bad. There are yeah, several yeah. companies that basically have me on a blacklist <laughs> because I <laughs> yeah. was not nice to their paddle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah. So, no, I I absolutely love yeah. it. Like, and what some people bread and butter. Yeah, some people don't know that I'm somewhat of a paddle nerd as well. So that's why like <laughs> we're friends and we talk. Like I probably half the time we talk. It's about paddles. Like, will have you seen this new thing? Came? Did you hit with it? How did it feel in your hand? I'm like, dude, Chris, I can't trust anything you say. You're three five at best. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are brutal with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Yeah, how for you? I mean, okay. Obviously, you're sponsored by Selkirk now, so yeah. it, it changed the landscape of thing. But yeah. what is your mm. Wait, take but, on? I guess. Go ahead. No, I just want to know. Like, did you approach them or did they approach you? That's what I want to know. All right. Uh, yeah. Good story. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, so they pro they honestly approached us like, or they approached me probably three to five years ago. Wow. Um, okay. So like instant master, this is when I was back at my, my old channel. Yeah. yeah. And at that time that just wasn't what we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so this come around this time around, um, looking for a official paddle sponsor of our, of everything we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously like again, supporting your family stuff, it really helps because I, yeah. you know what we need some consistency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and you know, obviously our content is, is huge. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, and as you can see, uh, Selkirk is probably, I don't know, one of the only companies that invests in content creators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, they've, they invest they've, heavy they've in dropped content creators. a lot of money. So yeah. anyways, um, yeah. So I contact them. Um, and, uh, three years later, Hey guys, I'm, I'm back. back. Yeah. yeah I'm back. You know what? We've been in kind of like, yeah. Hey, contact hey, here, yeah, of here. Course. Um, yeah, but great guys. Um, Rob and Mike. Yeah. Um, love them. Honestly, the, the company, as a whole, um, I'm all for it. You know, yeah. I think that I think they're great American based company here. Yep. Um, I think they just do a lot for the sport in general. Yeah, they have, have good values outside of, you know, kind of line up with kind of with ours and, you know, I just, so that's why we picked them. And then, you know, we mm -hmm. were, we weren't negotiating with a couple others, but uh, it just, it just, um, just lined up real it well. Just, it just lined up. Gotcha. Just real quick question. So if you had to go, compete at a tournament right now, which, which paddle would you use from them? What's yeah. your favorite in their line? So I'm actually like, again, um, and I tell players, I tell players this all the time, um, find the kind of style like that you like. So for me, mm -hmm. okay. I, and, and again, again, reset transition feel is my, like, I need that. Yeah. So would I ever now? Do I think it has some crazy advantages? Yes, but I wouldn't play with the power air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in a tournament. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously right now there is uh you know, the SOK, mm -hmm. the, yep. the Halo. Yep. Um so probably uh thirteen or sixteen, maybe one of those or, or the or the zero zero three. So it, it's zero zero three. I, I'm, is I'm a great going path. going back and forth, but I can't uh 
disclose a lot, but they're, they they have stuff coming down the pipe. Yeah, I know about them. Okay. <laughs> of course he knows <laughs> about them. So they have, they have a lot, and that's just exciting. And, you know, obviously, I, I honestly do. Like, obviously, I can be a little biased, but I do think they've really stepped up their paddle game. And no, they stepped up, sure. they stepped up no, but, a lot. But technology just... I don't know. They're, they're they're front runners to me. Yeah. Um I'm, I agree. So I'm glad I'm glad I'm with them and um they have a lot of things coming and you know just the other day uh Rob Rob Barnes was like I think I got something that you you really like cuz cuz he knows I need you know I like the touch so. Yeah. Are you long handle short handle kind of guy? What do you well, like? I, I got a two hander. Two hander. Okay. So it's got to be Invictus shape. It's got to yeah, I think you know when I first started uh like doing all like a lot of two handed stuff like oh i needed that um so i i, I was with engage for a long yep. time um the 6.0 yeah mx, MX. yeah so full full what is that six inches i think almost, almost. it's like five okay. seven five so um uh, yeah so i i just thought oh yeah this is the paddle i need and stuff but i you know i always adapt and i see different things like i obviously can't do something super short but like the yola is that is that five and a half five and a half. so so something around that range i yep. think is good yep what i've learned is uh and i'm still like still experimenting right mm -hmm. you're always like learning new things but longer handle obviously way more reach yep way more whip to yep. spin and stuff but but at the net it it's it slows your hands down a little yeah yeah so i'm like trying to find there i think there is for me at least some sort of sweet spot five and a half to to five seven five what do you so we're, I'm we're glad I'm, I'm glad I'm extending this podcast. By the way, that's <laughs> great. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I will talk as long as you want. See, to talk. I just I had to bring up. Hey, have you heard of this other paddle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knew. He knew. He, he had to knew, push your buttons. He knew the buzzwords <laughs> for me. <laughs> that's so good. Kyle, we're coming for you, bro. Yeah, that's, that's right, Kyle. Oh, he's coming back on. Yeah, he's, coming back on. <laughs> yeah he's, he's gonna be upset. That's the first thing he's gonna say when you get him on your pod. He's gonna be like, "All right, I." I'm going to sabotage this pod because <laughs> you broke my record. Because you broke my record. Yeah. I, I totally lost my train of thought. It was definitely a paddle related thing. Oh, shoot. Are you a big Sorry. lead tape guy at all? So another thing I've been experiencing. So here's my lead tape journey. Yeah. Okay. This is a good topic. Yeah. Um, zero eight, right? You started, yeah. started zero. Yeah. Then I used a lot. Yeah. Like nine five. Oh, you went wow. to nine five. That's yeah, heavy. No, this is five years ago. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Oh, nine, yeah, and you come from tennis. So yeah, yeah. but again, so Glenn Lucy, real quick. Yeah. He, oh, puts, yeah. he 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 his is weighted, and that's where you know we kind I kind of that that's that was our kind of stomping ground. So yeah. Anyways, um, stock to super heavy. Yep. And then I went, oh dude, and then and then someone I don't know. I think I just got some new paddles from my sponsor at that time. Yep. Just I didn't want to like mess with them or whatever yeah. so then i went stock yeah and i, I was like seven two. Oh gosh like, Ooh, but, I, but i'm like ooh, i'm, I'm quick, quick. Yeah, my fans lightning so, fast. so then um so something like the zero so again zero zero three and and the uh the halo great paddles but again like like your review i wouldn't i couldn't play with them if i couldn't add a lead tape yeah yeah because so, it just adds some stability there and, and for sure and stuff so so now i'm like somewhere in the middle okay. I, I do add lead Yep. Um, like what? Like eight, five, nine, maybe. I actually haven't weighed it, but oh, if okay. I were to guess, probably eight, three. I, I don't know. Okay. Three. It's not much. Sure. But, but it's enough, right? And, yep. and I'm trying to find that balance. I don't want it too, yeah, too heavy. Yeah. Right. Or, you know. What's What's your ideal spot? Mine is always bottom corners. So I, again, I think more experimentation on that side. Right now, I'm, yeah, I'm just probably like um, what is that four inches yeah, yeah about yep so four inches on the bottoms yep and then like a little I'm bit at the top. just i'm just experimenting like two on the top i see to balance it out like like this like half of that yeah but uh yeah i think I want, obviously yeah I, I know for sure i just don't want you don't want to just add stuff to the top that's just not uh, yeah i it's but, my least favorite so, spot i don't know i have to i have you guys probably experimented a lot more uh with with location so. Probably a little too much, but <laughs> <laughs> for sure a little too much. I I'm working oh, on like a go. Yeah, I, have you done this one? Let's so uh, I'm experimenting. So this this is you, if you haven't done it, I, I, I hopefully I'm the first person to think about it. you. You probably already thought about it. I was here, but but zero zero three and Invicta the hole. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. I've, yeah. A lot of people so, tried that so one. So I've been I've been trying. So what's your consensus consensus on that? I have, does it does it help? I have not personally done much in the hole because I have my 003 Invicta like 
right where I want oh, okay, it. Okay, so you what? haven't really yeah, tried I, it. I haven't really, but I've talked to people, and oh, some people, okay. some people swear they. Yeah, like, I'm, just, I'm aware of the idea. Yeah. I mean, they think it helps. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't affect. I mean, because I you think you have it, it here, it sure. and then you have it here, so yeah. it's like, ooh, even more stable. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I, I should probably try it, but I just like once I dialed in yeah. at zero zero three, I was like, man, I'm I, not changing this thing for anything. I will say that like zero zero three was great, but then I didn't think it was like amazing until I tried your setup with it. Yeah, like yeah. your setup, I was like, oh. I could totally go to a tournament with this yeah. and like feel very confident. Yeah. You know? Thing definitely thing definitely needs lead. Once it has it, it's like it's a rock solid paddle. I think <laughs> there are well, there are plenty of paddles that are great stock, but I personally find that almost always a little bit of weight yeah. goes like a I long way. So it doesn't have to be more. a lot, but it's just yeah. I think they should come like closer stock to like eight two. That's what I just feel like. Yeah. I, I think most people I don't know. Yeah. That uh, well, I do. I don't know. I guess it's nice that it comes lower so that you, so can, you can you can customize it. Some it. people might like it for some reason really light. Yeah, we have a yeah. couple high level guys in yeah. Minnesota that are like, I need like seven three and I'm like, dude, yeah, how are you hitting the ball this hard or not killing yeah. your shoulder? You have nothing. Yeah. So I don't know. Um okay. I'm just thinking of random stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Please hit me with it. Thousand dollars on a line. Uh oh. <laughs> Skinny singles. Yeah. Yeah. You have to play against Will. <laughs> Will, you have to play against yeah. yep. Chris. Uh huh. Uh, so first, yep. Paddle of choice right now. No warm up. You got to go. Yep. And what do you think the score will be? Oh man. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Go, well, my baby. paddle, my paddle is definitely the Carbon One X sixteen millimeter. That's what I'm playing doubles with this weekend. Okay. Uh, One X sixteen mil. So long or, sh- or regular? Uh, elongated five and a half inch handle carbon fiber face. It's like their new power version of what they had. So that's before. your go-to. Yeah. What, what's yours? Uh, right now, it's probably the 6.0 double black diamond. Very really? similar. Okay. Yeah, very similar to the new carbon. Yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Quite. 6.0 black diamond. Yep. yep. Um, score. <laughs> no, serious. So real. Yeah. So it's yeah, real. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking real. I'm actually trying <laughs> to think about this. Like, has, if anyone, has anyone asked you something like no. that? No. No. Oh, no. well then let's go. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to cost this, this is this is something good for for, for the internet. <laughs> I believe that if I am <laughs> here we go. No, no, no. I said no. I said no go, go out right now to the court. Right we went out right Maybe now. we'll right live now. it. We'll live it right after this. Oh man. <laughs> to uh, yes, to seven. To seven. Re- regular scoring, skinny singles. Oh man. Okay. I, I personally believe it would be <laughs> like four to seven or five to seven. Oh. And I, I lose. Oh. I think. How, what do you think? Wow, it's so nice, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I think it would be yeah. probably three, four. You would get you would get three or four. That's or, it. Okay. Right. Only three? Three, three. You four. said four. You said four. That's five. like only one point. Three. Yeah. It's only one point, but it's a big difference. Oh. <laughs> At this, well, because you're saying right now. Yeah. At this yeah. point in time, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if we went oh, no you're warm, warm up, oh, no, you're no, warm. I'm not, oh, I'm, I was like, oh, I'm right. I'm no, warm. no, no. I'm I'm not warm. Uh-huh. We're going outside after this. We're gonna do this. Yeah, we we have to do this now. I got I got a challenge. For for you guys too, so okay, great. Get that. Okay, uh, yeah, because right now, just knowing how I'm currently thousand dollars ready, I'm winning this. Now <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> just 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 how I'm currently playing at this point in time, okay. right now, like I don't feel as good, like as great. Oh, you know, like to be honest with you. Last wait. few days we've been kind of tired from MLB. Wait, so what does that mean? That okay. means you, if you did feel great, you could beat him even worse. Yeah. Oh, sure you wouldn't beat me even worse. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> See, this is what happens. He gets overconfident. Okay. He's, okay. Well, he, to give you an idea, this is what yeah, happened. Yeah. Okay. We played, like, after we played Leia Jansen today, right? We said, all right, let's play uh, a singles. Like, we went one and one, right? But the first game, like, he barely beat me. It was like 11 8 or 11 9. And then I was like, okay, Chris is on fire right now. We had to play the second one. I'm not going to go out. So, wait, you played what? Singles? With singles, singles. Regular singles. Regular, regular singles. singles. Did he beat you? Uh, yeah. He beat me like 11 8. And then we played the second so game. So, singles, you're, you're closer to Will. Yeah or no? Uh, I. What do you actually think? I think I might be closer in doubles than. So you, d- you just played bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? I, I, I played mean... bad. I played. I played bad, but also like this. All right. It's really weird. Okay, so I was playing out of my mind. Three, okay. Five <laughs> okay. But the second game, I was like, okay, Chris is playing super hot right now. Second game, right? Okay. I destroyed him 11 1. Okay. I was like, I, I, I tanked. Okay. I was like, Chris, I fell apart. What happened? You were pumped up. You're like, okay, oh, yeah, let's so go. What happened in the third game? That's we didn't thing. play a third one. Because I was <laughs> we went beat. back. So like, yeah. Okay. He, if we played a third one, so you, he, he does not have stamina to save his life. Re- wait, for real? 
Right now, I don't. Really? He, was, like, he has more stamina than you? Yes, he does. 100%. How is that possible? How is that possible? <laughs> no, but he, he just looks lighter. He's smaller. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's I mean, old, though. <laughs> I'm a little bit older. I did a lot. Of, I, I did, like, at least for How me. How old quite, do you think he is? I think he told me Yeah. before. What What do you think now? See, but I, I don't remember. No, yeah, that's but great. But I, I know it's think? over 30. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dang it. He so, knows like, it's over 30. I don't know. 34? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it is. yeah it is. Is it really? Yeah, yeah I'm to, I'll, I'll be 35 this year in April. Oh, see, I was going to say 36, but I wanted to keep it. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. But, like, from yesterday, uh, for me, for my sinners, I did quite a bit of drinking. So, you know, I had one too many. So, I had one. And then. Oh, so now we're going to use that as the uh, excuse? Wait, what excuse? I beat you. No, we went one and one. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right, that's we fine. Could, we, that's could fine. Do a, we could do a dream breaker. Sure, yeah. Outside. We'll, we'll, we'll do a dream we're breaker. We're doing this. Okay, no warm up. Then I'm going to like update this when I get home or something when I'm editing this that's podcast. Like, it, I smoked him. Technically, right now, I think his duper rating is higher than mine. Yeah. 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 So let's let's just remember. <laughs> let's just remember. And that as, was a great question. As a segue, yeah. MLP. Yes. Just a initial thought. So I just I did a couple pods. Um, I have not followed MLP that closely. Yeah. yeah. So the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Anyways, my wife, we, we, we went Friday. Yeah. yeah we saw you there. Ticket. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys saw you there. Anyways, I didn't know what to expect, but dude, did you that like place it? was lit, bro. Was li- yes. yes. I mean, I, I like it. Dude. You like it? Yes. I, I like it, man. I genuinely believe that if either regular pickleball is going to have to change so drastically or MLP is just the future of what tv pickleball is because yeah maybe tv yeah yeah for tv yeah for entertainment value okay so um here's a question uh, and, and will when we played yes so yeah what was her yeah pickleball check right yep so where she was like oh no we're playing mlp roles i was like oh you're, you're like i don't even know how to play no no so I, so again it took like three minutes or so for me to oh my god like figure out like because i never I actually never even watch really and see how the scoring worked yeah but i played and i was like Oh, this is actually not not bad to keep track of. Yeah, yeah. Like I kind of like it. What do you think of the format as a whole? Y- like it was also Shay's first time playing rally scoring like MLP yeah, style as dude, well, and, and I he was loved like, it. And I was like, you know what? This is not bad. And it was just funny we were playing with the freeze. So, um, yeah. So before I answer, yes. Format wise, what is is it? You lock that in, or is there one or two changes you would make? Go ahead. Format rise. Currently, from Cur- current. Yeah, current. Okay, so, I. Yeah, right now there's. Rally, rally, freeze at 18, freeze at 20, and yeah. then the dream breaker. Personally, I really like it as it is. Okay. I don't think I'd go as far as to say it's perfect. I'm sure there's an adjustment that I'm yeah. not thinking of, but I, a lot, the freeze is the most controversial thing. A yeah. lot of people don't like that because what they always end up saying is, oh, well, the pers- team that gets to 20, the other team can just score a ton of points now and yes. like fire off. But, of course. But I still think the freeze at 18 balances that out because yes you are being rewarded while they're kind of yeah. being punished but then everything stops at 18 and you still they're one off and you're three off right yes like, you yeah you have opportunity you're still down it's not like the other team i don't yeah. know i think it's not as well, bad as people I, I have a, i have a hot take I, yeah I, go I, ahead I, no you go let me go first so, okay anything yes uh i think I, I kind of agree with chris lake that it is not perfect some changes could be made my only take is uh the dream breaker i think there's a oh. lot of experimentation that could be made with the dream breaker okay so what, what's a what's the adjustment <laughs> okay so i said this before and it'd be much more difficult to keep track of but i would like to see it in almost what's the word i would say like a live a stock format and what i say by that is okay you have your lineup right every person gets a certain amount of what's called a lives okay live yeah okay okay and when you play you. if you lose Got a point you. you lose a life and once you lose a life you you're off. out but yeah. if you have remaining lives that you person stay. can stay so you yeah. or so can they choose to stay forever or did they have to come off so that's the thing i'm not sure you could oh i got one yeah you, you, you and that, that's a cool format and i actually do yeah. some drills this way when mm-hmm. I, I teach some of my stuff but how about you know how you know how i'm basketball in 21 three yeah. and out yes maybe there's a three and out right exactly you win three but three. you got to come out someone with a new life has to come in exactly uh, yeah you're right way more harder to harder track. to do because yeah, then but, yeah, way harder to track but it could yeah. be very interesting because then you can choose like your lineup like almost like in baseball kind of in the matchups and okay. where you place somebody yeah. in the lineup could really matter who's your anchor who's your yeah. starter yeah yeah so so real quick can you guys explain because I, I, I got different takes here. What What's the process of the Dream Breaker lineup right now? Like, okay, oh. is it way in advance or do they pick it? 
They pick it as the dream breaker is happening. What do you guys know or no? I feel like it involves the coin toss in the beginning that yes. like determines. I feel like it determines side and serve, and also yeah. whoever wins or loses that has to be the one that has to give yeah, up the, their lineup to the other. So the team. lineup they pre, get to a dream it's breaker. Pre it's premeditated then. It's yeah. Whoever chooses the first lineup or whoever it's oh, decided, okay. they, they choose it, and then can like, they it, make can the other team make adjustments or yeah, they're yeah, locked the, in? The team that goes second, okay. they can make adjustments because so they, they get to see the lineup. Okay. But, so that's an advantage. No, it is that's an advantage, advantage. But that, that's, that's an advantage, advantage for the dream breaker. Exactly for a dream breaker. So you try not to go to the dream breaker, but when you get to the dream breaker, I I do want to see more mixed because I want to see more singles matchups. Like I love like when like yeah. Emily Weber was playing Tyson, like I was like, oh, loved it. Yeah, I was loved sick. it. And I, I love to see. And then, I mean, just today, Chris and I played against Leia Jansen, arguably second best singles female, like second best player overall. Mm -hmm. yeah, she wiped the floor with us. Yeah, I mean, expected. Yes, <laughs> 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 to be expected. And I mean, she was just uh, so good. Like shout outs to, to Leia. Like, I mean, she was a little scared of it. I got like, I came up like five something, but then she figured out a game plan for me and she executed so well. And I got pickled the second game. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like breathing. I was like, <gasps> my favorite line she gave. <laughs> what this she, is the best line. What did she say? After he was at like five points or something and she got a side out or something, she goes, what's your rating? And he goes, I don't know, like four nine in singles. And then like they play one more point and she comes back and she's like, dang, if I knew you were that level, I would have warmed up more. I thought this was going to be 3 0 pickleball. <laughs> It was so good. I should have played Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she did play Chris oh, after. Okay. We did both play, but I think she. Okay. if she played me first, she might have yeah. been like, ah, I was right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know so, what she did say, though? What? She said overall she thought I was better. Than a 3-5? No, no. than Will. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? She, she, she okay. said my, my peaks, like at, at, yeah, like, so at the your peaks, range. my range was higher, but so. she said Chris was uh, had much more stamina than I did. And she I said like, if I played her first, I yeah. probably would have came out with more points. Just but, a real quick yeah. tip on the range thing. That's such a common thing. I, what's your drill to what's your drill to rec ratio, dude? My drill to rec ratio? Yeah, yeah. It's zero to a it? hundred. I'm just kidding. It's more like no. 10. What, what is it? Yeah, no. It's it's I I I rarely drill. It's like okay, ten. So that's why. You know exactly. Honestly, and then we talked about four 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 five four to four five four four five five zero. Yes, dude. If you just get the fifty percent at least, yep. you're gonna see your range. Yes, diminish. Closer. No, I I I totally agree. And I've been, um. Thinking about that, that's kind of been like almost like a New Year's resolution for me. So now I've had, I have had yeah. opportunities to do more drilling, yeah. but also like, you know, I'm also going 100% into YouTube and whatnot. Yeah, and like you said, yeah. balancing all that, like. But no, stuff, but this but, is, yeah. again, this is something I do even today, yeah. right? To keep up my game. Like I yeah. don't want it to diminish. I want to keep up my high, high level. So right. I don't, again, if I have a choice and I only can play twice a week, so yeah. then I'm going to drill. I see. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You know, that's I'm just taking notes. That's just a, this to heart. just a decision. No, it's right. True. And if you play, if you play more, then you can maybe uh, allocate it differently. Yeah. But um. All right. So, anyways, MLP. My, yeah, MLP. My take. I say zero freezes. Okay. Because yeah. okay. So so just hold on. Mm -hmm. Zero freezes. I'm like simple. And look, if we're gonna go all in, you go all in. So zero freezes, or freeze at twenty and no freeze for the other team. Let's keep it interesting. So, Ooh. but you yeah. freeze at 20 once you get to 20? Yeah. Okay. No, but I'm saying forget the 18 freeze. Yeah, yeah, forget let's the 18 go. freeze. Yeah, let's go. So, I like that. I mean, if you're going to do a free, I mean, also for the viewer, it's a little confusing. I say, yes. and and here, yeah. so you're going to see different, you're going to hear different takes on this, but if you're up 2015, close it out. Yeah. 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 Just close it out. Yeah. Yep. Be clutch. And be clutch. And if, if you know, because when they get to 20 anyways, it's gonna be regular right. scoring. I so, am. dude, forget the eighteen freeze. That's that's yeah. that's my take. No, I like L that. Let's go because I, at, you know? at the twenty, yeah, at the twenty freeze, it's like the rule just becomes yeah. when one team reaches twenty, you have to win on your serve, and then that's it. Like you know, yeah. because once somebody comes back, you have to win on your. Is serve. it win by two? Yes, it's right. still win by two. So, okay. so, so it don't yeah. make sense. Yeah, it, dude. it'd be super so simple. Freeze at twenty or, or no freeze at all. I do I like think that, you know? I I could definitely see that. I think the biggest thing is, I feel like if you're down, you just have such you're not punished for being down. Whoa! Because yeah. you just get right back to well, 20. Well, you're still down though. Yeah, you're still. I mean, down. I mean that team, dude, serve it out and win one point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, you can say both ways, but um, again, that's why I said, dude, if you're gonna do a freeze, let's do a freeze. If not, yeah. just play straight up. Yeah, sure. That's just. That's I'd like, just to, how I'd I see like it. to see them do it for one tournament you know? and just see how it shakes out. I think they will. That's why they have multiple events. You yeah. know, because they're they're they have time and chances to make yeah. adjustments, but. 
we should i mean maybe we should play another like yeah rally swing to yeah like yeah. without the freeze at 18 you know yeah. i think that would be actually really fun way easier to keep track opposed. of yeah. do you think they should play like okay let's say regular tournaments instead of side out scoring if they do some sort of rally scoring what if they did like best out of three up to 21 like rally scoring like yeah i yeah. mean i think that offsets the win by two 11 right yeah yeah but i don't yeah it's hard to it you know you have people that are super angry about the whole yes. um rally scoring and you have people like oh let's change it now but i don't know man we'll see i, I did listen to ben's take you know i'm sure you guys heard it but he, he's he actually encourages rally scoring which i thought was like oh wow that's and then now after seeing it though yeah at mlp it's like you know what you're about it i don't i don't know I, it, it is hard to keep score dude yeah it's hard to keep regular score. it's hard to score. teach it's hard to teach sorry it's okay Damn. hard to teach hard to keep so yeah i i think it would be totally fine and most people who so first of all, people who don't like it or are vastly opposed to it, yeah. most of the time haven't tried it, or yeah. the times they've experienced it, it's in a facility where they do it, like a game finishes, and now everyone's rally scoring, so it's just to cycle courts. Yeah, that that's just to speed up court. Like I yeah. think it would be, you know, better. That's not really the real way to do it. And I think if you try a bunch of MLP games, yeah. most people come out going, you know what? It's I actually not it. that bad. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of fun. I like when I tried it. So, that was my experience. Yeah, loved it. That was great. Yeah. If it switched tomorrow, do you think you'd be fine with it? Well, I mean, I'm not really playing tournaments right now. Well, no, no, but just yeah. pickleball in general. Like, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know what the word is, but I, I could not care less, but I could go yeah. both ways. Okay, go both, sure. Both ways. Yeah, that's let's just chameleon, go. an adaptive yeah. individual. Adapt, just like I, my coaching, you know, let's go. Let's there just, you go. I, if I see some other strategy or something that's working, yeah. let, let's, let's learn about it. I do feel yeah. like it's going to, it, to me, it almost feels inevitable that it's going to switch. Okay. That's kind of how I feel That's at this point. That's a good point. take. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. Give we'll it three see. years, I'd just be, every other sport's done it, right? Like yeah. volleyball went through the same thing. They were set out. Yeah. They went to rally yeah. school. I think wasn't bad, badminton. badminton. I think, yeah. I'm pretty sure badminton. I don't remember table yeah. tennis. It'd be actually, no. like, again, I don't think this would ever happen because they're trying to separate tennis and pickleball, but it'd be interesting to see the exact score against tennis. Yeah. Oh, oh like just you literally play it like 50, tennis? Yes, 15, whatever. 30, 40 or whatever. And, and like and like exactly it's, the same way. I don't know. I try a game that way. We should we should try like just, a set. See, two out, like two out of three sets. And yeah. then you it's you know, it's exactly the same. I mean, if you play tennis, you know the score, but right. yeah, I think that'd be interesting. That yeah. would be interesting. I think it could be interesting too. I think pickleball is just still in such an early stage. There's a lot of things that can be experimented with. Yeah. Sometimes people get upset when you touch the game at all yeah hence chain sir saw serve <laughs> what, what was your take on the serve when it existed um i noticed you never made a video about it he did yeah i did about how to do it no not how to do it yeah oh you, you did, did? The old channel really yeah okay maybe i just missed that one okay oh, man, come on, i was guys. thinking the new channel <laughs> come on guys you guys gotta you guys gotta do your research right? two hand or one hand <laughs> For uh, which one did you oh, show? I no, I did but all of them. Did all, of them. all of them. I guess I just completely missed yeah. it. So um, no, but um, it was kind of I was kind of on the fence. Uh huh. But honestly, if it was going again, I'm adaptive. If it's going that route, I need to start. And it actually, it was a very hard not hard. It was a very interesting time for my coaching. Like, mm. What am I? What am, what am I adapting? What am I teaching? What are you going to teach them? Yeah. But one of my videos too. Mm -hmm. Um was like, again, this this was still, I think, during it, the only serve you need. Yeah, yes. that was right? the one I watched. So like, And it's not the spin re serve. That's regardless, what you regardless, we need to teach you good technique yes. and, and good body rotation, all the stuff that makes a good serve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whether you spin or not. So um, I think- I watched that video. You have an amazing I, serve I, and just ace them. You don't need any of that. <laughs> yeah. That was me. I mean, again, but like Zane's and stuff, I, I just, it's just, it just got tough. I know, like, honestly, I didn't have a lot of experience, like, playing against a lot of that yeah. so reading it so I, I played a couple of players that, ooh, it was kind of tough so i don't know i didn't really enjoy it but if it went that way shoot i'm gonna master this thing and then i'm gonna but i, I, I would I, love to see a full-blown yeah. briona tutorial but, but i never <laughs> but i never we never got there and then it kind of there was controversy so hey now i don't have to worry about it but yeah, you sure don't have to worry about but, it uh, yeah i was on the fence but i was kind of more leaning to like not man, i just it. wish that uh uh, one rule I think that just needs to be changed ASAP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just contact below the navel. Yes. Come on. Oh my just, gosh. Can we just please keep one sentence? Yes. yes. That's yeah. it. Thank yeah. you. You know? Do you think it's just going to go to a drop serve at some point? No. You don't think be, so? That would be, I think that would be terrible. I just don't like it. I, don't, I, I think that would be terrible. But now, 
my drop serve is just as good. Yeah. So this is not coming from someone who can't hit a drop serve. I'm, my, my serve is just as good both ways, but no, I, I just, I just think that uh, serving it out of the air is just so natural. I just think the the problem, and I agree, I would rather have a volley serve. The problem is you see it on the Pro Tour right yeah. now. So many yes. people are right on the line and it's so subjective. Yeah, that, so, oh man, Deckel, Tyson. Um, yep, Leia's is close. Yeah. I don't know. Ben's is, there, is getting closer. Ben's getting closer, but his is his is actually legal, like yeah. all the time, like I, from what I see. Yeah. But it's. Did you guys see that when 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 Jay played Tyson? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We Who saw didn't that. see oh, that? Yeah. That's hilarious. That was um, so funny. But like uh, just uh, yeah, and then just and then the whole rule thing, like oh, if it's they just reserve it. Yeah, you just reserve it even if it was so, out. Uh, crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't have a good so. Th so Let's talk about this. The only solution is a drop serve. Yeah. Yes. But I don't want it to go there. Yep. So I don't know. I yep. don't know. If it goes there, it goes there. But I don't think, I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, how are they going to enforce I don't, it? I don't, to I don't keep, know. They to keep another Tyson J situation. Unless from they having... do, unless that's a slow mo challenge now. Oh. That's, but still. But you are you can't... really ever going to challenge a serve? No, right. you could. You could. It, you know, you could, but how many people would? If it's on match point. If it's on match point, sure, yeah. And sure. you miss a return. Sure. Yeah. This is, we're, talk, we're talking about it, championship gold medal match. Yes. Yeah. That, about that would happen. MLP. For sure. Yeah. But like, again, you can't really do, navel is not really a great thing too, because what if you're just What's a weird what, person? You have yeah, a belly button up here. Up, yeah. Yes. Like, I, I don't know. I, yeah. There's no it's, solution. It's also not like everybody's checking the height of everyone's navel, like looking underneath their shirt, like yeah. checking it, you know? Yeah. And honestly, I did film, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this video will ever, come to fruition oh, but no it's still no, it's good. on it's good still red we're good yeah we're good <laughs> okay false alarm <laughs> jordan thought the the cameras were off <laughs> no we're good uh i did film uh tyson serve a bunch of them in super slow motion this weekend so i could check it so oh did you or, or not yet i did check them <laughs> and yeah, yeah. i think they were consistently illegal <laughs> no way yeah i we're not talking about now i will say so how it was a little bit how, from the side i wasn't okay. completely straight, straight on so but illegal. Good uh, okay, which part illegal? Above or are you talking about the, the the dumb wrist thing? I think it was the wrist. Oh well, that needs to go anyway. The wrist <laughs> definitely needs to go. How yeah, just, the, the wrist is impossible. No, just, I, and then it's so like, what part? Of, dude, people are. I, I'm I'm teaching serving videos and I'm getting called on it. So I'm like, oh okay. You're so getting that. called on serving videos? Yeah. Do it. What are so, the comments saying to you? Like, so, so, I, I, I'm well, curious that, that the now. The thing is above the wrist. Oh my gosh. That the paddles are above the wrist. And and again, um, I had Byron and uh, Don Stanley. Yeah. yeah. Comment. They're like, oh, that's a way. That's illegal. And that's legal. And that's what. But anyways, that's why that's the problem with yeah. the wrist thing. It just mm -hmm. needs to go. I also, I actually, you know? we just talked about this uh, in a previous episode. It was just about pickleball etiquette and. We were, I personally believe that unless you see someone doing something so blatantly obvious yeah. that they're serving here, yeah. don't even call them on it. Well, I, of that's, course. It's my personal belief. Yeah, One, because but, they're just going to get upset. They never agree with you. But that, I mean, that's going to come on. That yeah. happens. Yeah. It just like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's worth it. And the rule, it's just bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a good solution other than the drop yeah, serve, which the, I don't want to see. The only solution is that. And yeah, that's going to be interesting. That's or, interesting. yeah, I mean, there's no other solutions. To to, yeah. See, in tennis, Mm -hmm. What if you, everything's overhead? So there's no limitations. Yeah, you can do but whatever. With you want. This is like, how do you put a limit on it without the drop serve? I don't know. Yeah, it sucks. I don't know. It's, it's kind of a sucky situation. It is, it is, and I don't think there's a great solution without upsetting a group Some, of people. Because to me, yeah. one of my thoughts about the drop serve is, I think if, I'm just imagining pros doing something in TV. It just looks stupid. It, so it it doesn't look the greatest. Yeah, mm. honestly, Padel they drop like that though. I think do right? they? Yes yeah. or no? I think they do. They don't yeah. serve right. overhead? I've, I haven't seen a lot no, of Padel. No, no, no. I think it's like a slice. It's a slice. And that's the fastest growing sport outside of pickleball. I yeah. actually think World Rider might be, but. Oh, um, well, yeah. I guess if they don't look dumb. But, but <laughs> yeah. But, but the, they, they do that because it is the it's, proper technique. It's strategically it's strategically the ball low. Yeah, it's, yes. it's strategically that's why advantageous. Right. That's see. why they do it the like ball. that. So they actually serve with slice, and that's why. Exactly, because if you start with top spin, the ball pops up way yeah. too high, and then you get crushed. You so, get crushed. I don't know, man. No solution. We'll get back to you on another. Yeah, we'll come. Yeah. We'll come back in a couple of years and see if. Might uh, not even be a couple of years. Shoot, it might be yeah. in like a couple months. Maybe maybe the end of this year with the way that pickleball is growing and how quickly things changes. Shoot, we might be back yeah, here before you know it. Yeah, because the only solution. I mean, not the solution, but the, the the only thing that keep happening is players are just going to push the limit more. Yeah, yeah it exactly. makes sense. Like I'm trying to keep everything. Actually, I've never thought about it. I'm try I thought about the other day. I'm trying to keep everything legal, but yeah. like, like I'm playing against some, there's some, you know, yeah. high level singles players. And I'm like, man, like 
what if I just like hire my contact a little yeah. bit? And it's like, oh, it's like a way fa flatter, faster serve. So I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think know. especially with the way it has been where it's essentially just a replay. Yeah. It's like, well, what? why wouldn't I push it? If you won't call yeah. me for it half of the time or even more than half the time, yeah. I get away with it. I get a you know, 10, 15, 20% better serve. And worst case Wait. scenario, make me redo it. I just, I just thought of something. What you remember that you guys remember the clip a long time ago when, uh, Altoff Zane and then Zane served it overhead. I missed this. You guys remember I don't that? Remember. No, it was like a little while ago. Okay, it was a good sportsmanship thing, like something. Oh, you guys, yeah, he you was remember. giving the ball back, right? Yes, uh, but he served overhead. Yeah, and then they he lost the point, but it should have been a reserve. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, yes. so that's uh, that's wrong, isn't I, it? I believe, oh man, okay, we, right? messed, we messed up a rule a couple episodes ago and now people are super on my case. So I don't want to say anything definitively, oh. but I'm pretty sure that is supposed to be redo because I also think Jack Foster, for yeah. the same exact thing where uh -huh. he was trying to be sportsman, like he was and trying to give the ball back, that. they faulted him. But it should be a reserve, yeah, right? Yeah, I think it's, I'm yeah. pretty just sure like it's the, supposed to be a reserve. Well, it's just, just like an illegal day. serve. Yeah. I feel like they said something about it being like unsportsmanlike. So I don't, I don't remember what for hitting was. for giving for giving him the ball back to to serve, but he was hitting it as an overhead or something. What? Yeah, well, I know. Well, it, the, my the, brother was there yeah, when it happened. The original thing with, with Zane Navratro is the the one that you know uh, basically something happened. It was a wrong call, and, okay. and he's just giving the ball back. So he blatantly served it tennis serve like full to blank. give him the ball back okay yeah. yeah so the ref could call it illegal and then right and then it sides but it, out but, but it wasn't his serve to begin with he was just giving the ball back no, no it was no, his no, serve. no it oh. was his serve. So he's trying to just give the ball back good sportsmanship like right yes so that's what happened but and then they he called the ref called a fall but going back to the j thing it's like well he would have to reserve it again wait was that an app thing though maybe that's a EPP, no EPPA well, there's thing. a difference between i think it's because ppa and app PPP, okay have somewhat different PPA rules. do modify their rules a yeah, bit for okay that stuff. so that was app you're right yeah so that that could be part of the difference but yeah i just yeah. i don't know the players clearly i've talked to some of them they're like yeah i'm gonna keep pushing it until they punish me well i mean especially when money's it, on it the makes line sense, dude. that's just where the as more money pours into this game you're just gonna see more and more that everyone wants any little edge they can get they can have yeah, everybody's getting so Even good if it's five percent that five percent might be the reason you win or lose yes battle gate Paddle Paddle gate. Gate. Link in the description. That's that's <laughs> right. Did you listen to that one? Uh, a little bit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Paddlegate is a whole yeah. wild thing. Yeah, they need to stay yeah. on top of their their game as the sport's growing. Like you, yeah. they have to be on top of it, or it's just gonna get out of hand. It is out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's out of hand. I I look into this stuff constantly. Uh, it's it's already out of hand. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. You got anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. I want to make this bet happen. What bet? The bet. We're going to oh, go oh, out there. Okay, yeah. Turn on the lights. Yes. <laughs> we'll put all the paddles. Yeah, we'll play. Yeah. I just want to make sure he knows I get more than three points. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, that just about wraps up this episode. Jordan, thanks for coming on. This was a ton of fun. It was great getting to know you and just kind of hear your story yeah. and view on coaching. And seeing your brand new studio space. Oh, my gosh. Might not exist after we leave. There's right. some good competition in here. We got me a little Burn worried. it down. Burn, Burn it, it down. down. But... <laughs> But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.